there mortals, I am back with Dead Space. We were just fighting the Leviathan and I am still gonna be playing. We got the line gun. I think we're actually pretty low on most ammos. Yeah, we got almost nothing on the force gun. The plasma cutter has six rounds, which we're actually gonna chuck into the chamber right now. Flamethrower is pretty, pretty solid when it comes to ammunition, but unfortunately the flamethrower does not work out in space. It is dead in space, if you'll pardon the pun. That an orphanage, they just named themselves Stray Kids, but they're collaborating with Deadpool 3. Oh, that's cool. It's 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 kind of nice that, that Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool do actually collaborate with um, at-risk kids. Like, kind of, kids who have a, a, bad, a bad upbringing, so they've got like a criminal dis disposition. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to absolutely cream through this bit. Boom, 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 boom. This place becomes your tomb. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I gotta really kind of blast away as well. Okay, I can't go downwards. I'm probably gonna be hit by the next tentacle that fires out of the gullet of this gigantic asshole. Okay, missed me! Awesome, that's one. Let's go all the way over here. Hopefully getting some oxygen on the way. Yeah, I can see that, I can see that. Let's get our plasma cutter out. I already fought this guy a couple of times. Oh, piss! Okay, Isaac. I already screamed, don't worry. We've got a couple of health items. I'm actually gonna take the... Uh, we, uh, let's use this before we go and get the O2, because now we can just... Ow! Bombs! Now we can use the O2 as we run. Okay, let's go ahead and do exactly what I was just talking about. Not really interested in getting hit by any of these bombs. It's probably gonna aimbot me a little bit. It did! It actually did just aimbot me a little bit. And we still took a little bit of a hit, which is just absolutely fine. Okay, good. And that is blown up completely. I'm gonna go ahead and use more health. Let's go ahead and run free. I'm born to be run free. I don't know what just happened there, but I didn't vibe it. Ow. Let's just go ahead and use the flight mode of our suit because we probably need to do so. I'm going up. That thing's gonna sweep along under us. There it goes, and I'm going to take some of this oxygen. Man, starting this this episode out real hot and heavy, huh? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, that's still the bottom that's being swept. Let's go ahead and climb it. It's also blowing all of the pustules, which is awesome. This thing is an O2 station. I'm just gonna open it up real quickly. Let's go ahead and land, and we'll accept this right here. All right. I'm going to fire this back at what's my dingle right here. Now let's fire. Go! Blow your bombs! Fire your load, gigantic force of nature. A force of nature is not a goddamn force of nature, is it? It's a gigantic cannon. Wait, seriously? Okay, let's go ahead and breathe. Just breathe really quickly. Oh, that was close. Okay, let's go ahead and look for another ADS cannon because we may be in a real bad spot. Unless we just use... A gun? I think we may actually just have to use a gun. Let's try the, oh, hello. I'm running. Nice try. Let's try the, are you taking the piss? What killed me? I had almost full health. Oh my God. Oh, thank God. I thought I missed the boss for a second. Ryan Reynolds is so fine. Yeah, you, you can't miss anything. There is no missing any of these series. They're all getting recorded and stuck up on YouTube. The videos are still gonna be there. You, you literally can't miss anything. We got kind of screwed out of that one, I think. I think as soon as the ADS cannon goes down, we might want to just start emptying different kinds of gun into it. We may want to start using the gravity field, but it's a bit of a waste because it's almost completely um, un-upgraded. All right, we did upgrade. We did save right in front of this door right here, which is pretty nice. Let's go ahead, get our plasma cutter back out. Maybe we use the line gun special. That's probably the way, right? All right, we'll go down here and I'll use this immediately. And we're gonna start firing balls. We're popping balls. We're popping balls like a eunuch. I'm really sorry about that reference. Please nobody take that one out of context or even remember it. You know what, no. No, put it on my gravestone. Put that quote on my gravestone. No, not the aim down side cannon. Okay, I think we're getting upward sweeps. Nope, he's just thrusting a little bit. Let's blow that so we can actually get past it. Oh, we're going down. 
We're going downtown. Okay, he missed. Excellent. Now let's go ahead and land on this bad boy right here. Oh, hello. Whoops, that was close. Could you imagine if we were hit by that? Oh my god. We can't actually TK while we're firing this thing either, which is a little bit of a shame. Gotta be said. Okay, we've almost got his second pustule down. Absolutely vile, revolting, gross, yuck. We got 11 seconds of breath as well, so let's go over here and use this breath right here. Good. I actually forgot to breathe. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. So now we kind of want to go to the other side of this area. These giant tentacles are probably going to want to lash out and do a gigantic sweep. Okay, that's probably going to sweep upwards. So let's go ahead and go up. There he goes. Done. Wonderful. Let's go ahead and go downwards so we can base it to sweeping downwards again. Because that does actually seem to be quite effective. I'm also really sorry I'm not reading chat. I am unfortunately a little bit preoccupied. And go up and while he sweeps down. I think he's going. Here he comes. There he goes. And we'll blow this open so that we can breathe from it. We should be really, really close. Whoa, okay. I'm actually just... Screw the ADS cannon. Oh, no! Okay, we should definitely use the ADS cannon. That was a bad shout by me. Okay, let's just start firing loads. We'll start dumping fat loads. Fat stacks. Go, Isaac! Don't stay in one place, you... Oh, fish man. Okay, good. I think I've... Oh, damn it. Okay, let's go ahead and get the line gun out and we'll start firing specials at it. We're also gonna... Whoops. I want to fire its own, like, heavy shots at itself. Okay, good. Uh, I'm gonna take the health. Excellent. Excellent. Let's go ahead and fire a couple more of these bad boys. Squeeze him up. Got him! He's dead! That took so many tries. Oh, my days. Okay, let's have a brief. I've got a transmission loaded and ready to go. We've earned it. We've earned it. I think we've earned a nice little breath right here, especially since we're about to suffocate. Damn, that thing's big. Wouldn't it suck if it lands on Earth? <laughs> I remember that Earth does get invaded in the third game, but I don't remember how or why. All right, what are you guys saying? Ryan Reynolds is so fine. Yeah, I know, right. Has he ever made a bad movie? I don't actually think so. He's so watchable. Except for Green Lantern, because uh, that was that was a little bit sus when it comes to the kind of racist whitewashing thing. Are you still going to play the OG version eventually? I don't see any point in playing the OG version of this game. Exiting zero gravity. I'm already experiencing it, uh, but I've done a little bit of research into the OG version of the game, and it turns out that the OG version of the game is just objectively worse in every single way than this one here. If this game can perform well on your computer, then it's, by all intents and purposes, the one you play. I hope they remaster Dead Space 2. That one was actually pretty jank. Okay, we activated the long-range shinner. Finally! USM Valor, this is Kendra Daniels on the USG Ishimura. Uh -huh. Do not open the escape pod. Repeat, do not open that escape pod. Do you read? Probably too late, right? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. You want to see my health, don't you? Whoops! What the hell is that? Oh! It came right for me! Damn, I thought the whole suffocation thing was over. It's extremely different. I'll have to take your word for it. I'm probably not going to play the original. Especially since this one... Yeah, everyone's just saying it's better. Okay, the suffocation's over. God damn it! The Valor scrap. By the time another ship hears the SOS beacon, we'll all be dead. No, that's what I was telling you. I found an executive shuttle on the crew deck, intact. And the log says that shuttle's missing a singularity port. It can't get us home. Wait, maybe it can. If the Valor singularity core is okay, I could salvage it, install it on that shuttle. Really quickly, don't worry, I'm uh, not going anywhere. I'm just increasing the sound of the game. We're fucking out of here. Where's yeah, that's the Valor better. now? It's near comms. Keep us stable. Isaac, I'll grab a suit and EVA onto the Valor. Meet me there. We'll find that core together. Let's see you see clean up their own mess. I'm saving what I can. 
Okay. Cool. Well, uh, we can now fly, which is not the best thing in the world, actually. It's probably not great whatsoever. Uh, we probably should have saved as well. Yeah, I, I was doing a little bit of research into the first game. A lot of people were saying that if you haven't played any of them yet, then definitely give the first one a go because it exclusively relies on horror rather than action. Whereas this game is quite aware that the horror gets old after the first like five or six hours and you stop, you start being a little bit more desensitized. So I'm not entirely sure if I should be playing it. Yeah, things definitely did. I'm not, I, I'm not entirely sure if I should actually be playing the uh, first OG game. Uh, we've got a shop right here. We could probably take a look at our inventory and just kind of fiddle around a little bit. We don't have any money mm, at all. We've got a couple of line gun ammo. We've got an oxygen tank, which I'm literally not going to use, so I'm going to sell it. I'm also going to sell all of these stasis recharge packs because every time you need stasis, there's always a stasis station. Okay, done. Now we can actually afford some ammunition, which we desperately need. Ish. It seems as though the ammunition we actually need is just not here. Not really anything else in here, is there? We already looted this place clean. Alright. We'll push on. I am pretty sure we're about to be attacked. Because we haven't saved. What else we got? Oh, we got a node bench here. Perfect. I'm pretty sure we picked up a single node. And we definitely want to start dumping into the gravity gun. The force gun. That's the one. Yeah, we got one node. We want to get its ult unlocked. Up here, this one here. Have we got it? I think we actually have it. Never mind. So we probably just want to upgrade the damage now at this point, right? Let's do that. Okay, excellent. That's going to be our gigantic BFG from now on. Okie dokie. Is that the way? I also found another button. It is this one. So we gotta go this way. Gotta go to the USM Vela airlock, whatever the hell that means. So we don't actually have to check our map every 30 seconds. We just need to hit this button and follow the little waypoints, which is pretty nice, actually. I do really, really like that. Okay, good, we're here. So, obviously, we have to go out the way we came, where the Leviathan was, and then go into the US Vela, maybe? Perhaps? It didn't... I highly doubt it would have latched on here organically. Yep. Okay, so there we are going. We are going all the way over here. It's got to be like a secret or a rig or a note or something out here, right? It can't really move a lot of things around. Doesn't really look like there's anything in outside the spaceship to interact with. I don't think the Leviathan really dropped any goodies, any ammo, anything like that. A little bit of a shame. I suppose it is what it is. Isaac, I'm on board. The Valor's trash, but I can make it to the bridge. Good for you. The Watch out for that? the. It's a it's a necromorph. I'm coming in. Zero gravity. Okay, I completed chapter eight. Is there a weapon that I can pick up to throw it? Oh, no. Oh, God, I wish TK opened chests that are stuck to walls. Uh, let's use the save station right here because I'm pretty sure we're about to be ganked by maybe a brute of some sort. Which would be kind of nice, actually. It'd give us a free node. That'd be awesome, actually. Okay, who's in here? Bunch of dead dudes. Oh, it sucks to be that guy. Hey, buddy. How's it, how's it clapping? I've picked up a water bottle of some sort. I tried to lure it over with the TK, it didn't really do a lot. Oh, would you look at that? There is a, a doll inside of, ugh. God, I hate that so much. I'm actually gonna use some of my ammo to kill it. What the hell was that? We all heard that, right? There's like a real gentle baby crying in the, in the background. Is that, is that like a secret? Surely not. Babies? I'm now gonna scour this place for babies. Actually, let's use a uh, flamethrower ammo. There's a nice few right, lockers over here. Yeah, what is it? A 12 megaton warhead. The crash hit the torpedo bay hard. I need you to handle that right away before something sets it off. 
Handle 12 megatons? You know I'm not a nuclear engineer, right? I don't you know. Be. Just stabilize the warhead and eject it away from the Ishimura. Christ, damn it. No one trained you to carve up monsters with a plasma cutter either. You haven't let <laughs> it down yet. <laughs> yeah, but I'm good at that. I'm really good at that, though. I'm really good at carving monsters up with a plasma cutter. Or a flamethrower. Just as long as I can choose what to kill them with, I'm really, really good at it. Hello there, Tyler Runky. How are we today? We're back with some dead space. Or bread space. I literally could not think of anything clever to write in the description of the stream. I found a, some kind of haunted baby already, and I'm going to be looking for more haunted babies. I'm probably going to scour this place absolutely clean to try and, try and get more babies. We want the babies. It's probably going to be a bunch of the debris and crap and stuff. One up there? Nope. Not at all. I don't think we can crouch or anything like that. No, we definitely can't. Okie dokie. There is a plasma energy in that bed. That's pretty nice. It's also a locker right here. Yoink. 1,200 bucks. Wow, this place is loaded. Absolutely loaded. Wonderful. I hear whispering. We might be getting closer to market influence. We've got a flamethrower fuel right here, which is pretty funny. It's funny that the game gives you so much flamethrower fuel, but I've done a little bit of research into all the weapons that you can get in this game. Oh. Hey, buddy. This guy climbed into... Be oh, did the door, like, cut him in half? That'd suck. That would be such a way to go. Yeah, I did a little bit of research into the weapons that you can get in this game. We've got them all, by the way. And people really say that the flamethrower is just absolute garbage tier crap. Nobody apparently likes the flamethrower. And yet here I am, loving the flamethrower. Wow, I threw that hit. Seize your glory! Yep. Looks like the uh, necromorphs really took heed of those those notes of propaganda. Let's actually throw his body over where his head is as well. D just so we don't confuse the cleanup crew. Oh! Hello? What is that? What in the hell? Oh, I see. It's something we gotta stasis, right? And then we gotta beat it to death with our fists? Oh, that feels good. Yes, I like this. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, we beat it to death. It is... You're almost dead. I see. I see why we need the stasis packs all of a sudden. I can't believe I actually sold them all. Damn, the flamethrower does some damage, doesn't it? Oh, we got force energy. Oh, that's perfect. And we also got a spine, I think. The soldiers yes. must have had stasis units on their armor. When they were turned, yep. those units merged right into their bodies. Changed them. They're fucking Did fast, it? Isaac. Stay sharp. Really? I hadn't noticed. I hadn't already figured that one out all by myself. Okay, there's a battery in here. Let's check our map. Let's check our map. Let's see the intended path. So we can go into the building in front of us here. Where else are we looking? There's an antenna right here. I don't know what that does. Maybe we just activate it. So I've got to look for the babies. If anybody knows where a baby might be located, please let me know. I don't want to accidentally, like, miss a baby. What an awful thing to say, but, you know, when in Rome, I'm not really seeing a lot in here. I don't see any babies. I don't really see anything. Hey, instead I'm thinking of creating a new channel. Hey there, Tail. You deserve the best of luck with a new channel. Although, I would highly recommend sticking with the channel that you have. This is Commander Cadigan to all hands. And I'll tell you why after this. We've been this. boarded by hostile forces. Hostiles are aliens. Repeat, aliens. And extremely dangerous. All personnel to arms. Fire at will. All right. So the reason people should actually be sticking with the channels they initially created is because there's something in, like irrevocably harmful on your channel that would hurt you being a creator in the future. Then all of the videos that you've already uploaded will still attract people to your channel if they uh, click on it. If the videos are not on your channel, they would never have had the chance to click on it. So it is actually in your best interest to keep as many videos on your channel as is humanly possible. Because unfortunately, quantity does prevail over quality on YouTube. Hope that's helpful. Hope that's helpful indeed. Uh, do we, I think we might need one of these batteries. Because there's two of them. Hello? Oh, this is where that node is. Good, 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 good. Is there a baby in here? A, a, a baby doll of something so? 
No, there is not. This would have actually been a pretty good place to put one, though. Probably going to be a couple in the rafters, too. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okie. Okie. So now we just kind of have to use the elevator, right? We've got no stasis left, unfortunately. Oh, what's, what is it? What's going on out there? Hello? Did the battery fly out? Yes. That's fine. There is, in fact, a battery in the other side of this door. So let's go ahead and bang that down the hallway because it's useless to us now. Go ahead, come in here. We are going to pull this battery. Oh, Poots, hello there. I'm going to burn you to death. I hope you do not mind. Oh, he loves it. He actually loves the fire that I set on his body. Is he dead? No, he is not. But he will be. There he goes. Excellent. The flame... I'm so glad that we got him dumped into the flamethrower here. Because it is working wonders. It seems to prevent them from actually kind of like... Oh, okay. Never mind. I thought that it may have prevented them from dashing, but I could have been completely wrong about that. Also, whoever said that the flamethrower ammo indicates how many seconds that the flamethrower has to go, you are absolutely 100% right. Damn. Force gun ammo? Don't mind if I do. We've got some flamethrower fuel. That is absolutely fantastic. We're going to need lots of that. More flamethrower fuel. Anything popping out of these soldiers here? I was expecting, like, more stasis packs to be flying out, but I'm actually kind of glad that there, there aren't stasis packs flying out. Gonna be honest, man, I was like five when I wish I could be coming a YouTuber and my vids would have been high quality. My wish came true, but editing vids and making them have high quality didn't go well. You can private them. You can always private them. The thing is, right, it doesn't actually matter if you've got old videos on your channel. Just make a paradigm shift and people will notice. Ah, uh, so we're not supposed to push that over there. Good to know, good to know. But yeah, it's a, uh, it, it's one of those things. There's always going to be times at which you'll want to make a shift if you're a creator to another, like, genre. And a lot of people are calling them arcs these days. I think Moist Critical's had about 20 different arcs on his channel. He had the reaction arc, he had the gaming arc, he had the speedrunning arc, he had a bunch of other crap. Okay, so we are now through here. We didn't need the battery whatsoever for the other room. There, yeah, you're always going to want to change your mind. And if you just create a new channel, every time you change your mind, you are starting from base zero. YouTube already has metadata on your channel to promote. Mr. Clark? Hello? I, I must speak with you. Who is this? And you lose all that by creating a new channel. Dr. Terrence Kine, the Ishimura's chief science officer. I, I studied the marker for the church. I'm John talking to you, Unitologist. But, but, but the planet won't rest until the marker is returned. You, you can't leave. Watch me. Wow. And, uh, that was cold. That was really, really cold. I love it. But damn, was it cold. Can we flamethrow this? We can. That doesn't make any sense. I've never seen somebody explode glass with fire in, like, a literal millisecond. Uh, this looks like a, a survival area, doesn't it? I'll we'll probably get three of these at once, honestly. Nope, just one. I heard someone. Hello? Oh! Hi there, buddy. I, I didn't quite see you there. Well, that's a waste of a pole, honestly. Anything else? Anything else that we can use as a weapon? Yep, here's one. There's a bomb right here, too. Nope, those are credits. Let's take the, the bomb. I'm going to fire this over here. See what happens. I blew someone up. Oh, no. So we can't detonate those guys. Right. I might private some vids, but keep my channel. It is a good idea. It's, it's a really good idea, because otherwise YouTube will have to kind of, like, scrape the next videos that you make for all of the metadata to be able to push your channel to viewers as well. Because I, I don't know... I've worked kind of hard to get to this. Yeah, everyone does, and a loss of progress is really disappointing. A lot of people don't really understand how the, how the algorithm works whatsoever. A lot of people think that the algorithm is for the creator and that when the creator publishes a video, the algorithm will promote that video. That is absolutely the opposite of what happens. The algorithm works for the viewer. So if I have a history and um, you know, kind of like a specific type of videos that I watch on YouTube, the algorithm will pull videos that it thinks I would like because it wants to keep me on the platform for longer 
it pulls videos and then sees if I will like them or if I will even click on them. And if I don't click on them, then YouTube keeps their data. If I do click on them, YouTube keeps their data. If I stay for just a few seconds, YouTube keeps their data. If I watch the whole video, YouTube keeps their data. And then it pulls videos based on all of that. So when you are a creator and you're making videos, you have zero control whatsoever in the entire process. You can only make good content and try and compete with the videos that people are already pushing out. That's the, the only thing that you can really do. Okay, where is this dickhead? Got to take this guy out first, I think. Good, and we don't actually want to blow this guy open. So I'm going to blow him in half and hope that his bomb doesn't go off. Okay. That doesn't work. Probably want to use the... Are you taking the piss? I don't even know what happened. Hey, how do you get so many subs? Oh, it's really easy. Uh, basically, you sink 12 hours into making YouTube content every single day since last November. That's how you get the amount of subs that I have. Pretty easy. Also, you have to maintain this quality that you're watching right here for 11 months. No. November... What, what month is it now? I've been doing this maybe... What is it? Seven, eight months? Eight months straight? Every single day, 12 hours? Editing videos? Making videos? And that's where I'm at now. I think the average amount of time to get a thousand subscribers is around about three to four years. That tends to be what I have seen other creators kind of maintain. I've got another friend who's got about 65,000 subscribers. He got lots and lots of subs just by kind of like making very, very specific content. But it took him four years to get to his first thousand, much like myself. Okay, that ruins the entire place. We die. Do we have to bait them into another room, maybe? I'm going to try and bait them into the hallway so that they go off in there instead. Because that might actually be the way through. We don't have the line gun, so we can't just, like, cut their pieces off and then, you know, take the bits and put it in a different room. We can't, we can't do that because we don't have the ammo for it. But what we do have is another area entirely to kind of bait all of these monsters into. The only issue is I saw one of them way at the back it just kind of detonate him, himself for seemingly no reason whatsoever. I've been thinking of getting a better mic. Sound quality is a necessity when it comes down to it. But you also kind of have to master the the six paradigms of content creation audio quality. One of which being a compressor, limiter, gain, equalizer. Oh god, what are the other two? Expander and noise gate. Those six things you have to basically master to get really, really good audio quality. It doesn't really matter what kind of mic you have. As long as you've got one that costs more than like 20 bucks, it should be absolutely fine. I don't see anything else coming out of... Oh, here we go. Where's this next one? There it is. Okay. I fired a pipe through it. Good. Don't know if there's going to be another one, so I'm going to actually just take this and... Oh, bugger. All right, fine. Ah, this is going to complicate things. You know what? Let's fire a line gun down here. Oh, I didn't think it was going to stop there. All right. Let's take out all of those. Good. One of those. One of those. One of those. Excellent. Power required to release the war hit. Damn. Okay. We're going to do something with this as well. Bye. 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 Red rocks. It was nice to have you here. There's actually a few warheads in here that we could probably actually end up firing around. Sorry, this mission requires a little bit of concentration. I'm going to uh, dip on chat for just a couple of minutes to... i to get the lay of the land of what we're looking at here. Fortunately, the explosive guy over here didn't go off, which is awesome. There's another explosive guy somewhere over here that didn't go off. Might be a baby in here. This looks like the kind of place that I would... Ah, perfect. Battery! Wunderbar! Go ahead, throw that over that way. Then we've got to plug it into there. Good. Let's jam this bad boy in. Okay, good. So the ordinance is now controlled. Wonderful. To my vids, when I'm playing Delta and Undertale and talking to my friend on Discord, my audio is really bad, but when I'm alone, my audio is all right. Might have a couple of issues with your balancing. Let's release the warhead. This can't go wrong. We're not going to blow up the Ishimura, are we? That's not what we're doing. Hello? I don't know if we're firing this into the space station. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, good. Okay. The warhead's clear. Awesome. This doesn't add up. 
If the Valor was just on patrol, why bring a nuke? And if they had a target, what's out here except us? Yeah, I know. I'm downloading a munitions report right now. I'll clear your route to the engine room. Grab that singularity core and let's get out of here. I think I have to change my mic settings on Discord. I don't do it because I haven't set it up yet, but uh, uh, most streamers will route Discord through something called a uh, virtual audio cable. And there's a couple of little platforms that allow you to do this. Voice meter is probably the most popular because it's free. Uh, but essentially what it allows you to do is have a bunch of kind of like virtual mixes on your computer so that you can route applications through them. That's how I get Spotify to play on my streams, but not be recorded in my recordings. It's because I route it through uh, streams exclusively. Ah, we've got a save, save, save station. Perfect. That is, that is a really popular thing. I tend to kind of like balance game audio when I'm playing uh, in Discord with a friend though, instead of doing that. Because then I have to record three separate audio tracks, my voice, the desktop, and my friend instead of the two, which is my voice that uh, I can edit on the fly in case... Oh, hello there! Jesus! What is that on your face? I'm burning him! He's done. He's done. Oh yeah, he's so done. Oh, hello! What's your name? I'm Jensen! Welcome to the party! He's, he's another one of those guys. He's one of the quick guys. Wow! Flamethrower! Gotta be shit actually saving the day here. Dead break! Boom! <laughs> Bomb! <laughs> and that's how he died. He was lit on fire to near death and then he exploded from the impact of a bomb to the face. What have we got here? Credits? Nice. Ooh. I think I'm just, yeah. yeah, so uh, a, a, yeah, a lot of people do split up the audio tracks. I don't necessarily do that. I like to balance the audio of a game before I actually hit record so that I don't have to do that. I just like to have my, um, my Discord quite loud. Usually crank somebody up to 200% volume inside of Discord and then start balancing your audio, but also look at your, your volume mixer on your computer. Uh, what you kind of want is your voice to be a couple of decibels below peak. Oh, hey there, buddy. What are you holding? Oh, he's holding his own leg. You want your voice to be a couple of decibels below peak. You want your friend to be around about between minus five to minus 10. And you want the game to be minus 15 around about there. That's a really good balancing that I found. Because then you can talk over your friend as well and not have to edit their voice too much. What's so great about this leg? Why was he why was he keeping this all for himself? That was an unhealthy habit. Let's let's just keep that away from this guy. Creepy. Bread space! Yes! Yes, I like the price. It is bread space. We're here for bread space. I literally did not know what else to name it. Okay, this looks like the next area we're supposed to be in. Got some pulse rounds we're never gonna use. Great. Got some more pulse rounds we're never gonna use. That is also great. What else have we got? Uh, we probably wanna swap out the line gun, honestly, because it hasn't been doing us a huge amount of good. What is this? Shooting range? Oh, we can't really use this, actually, because I think we're supposed to be using the plasma cutter for this. And we only have about 14 rounds. I'm not really sure that's good enough. Unless we just use the flamethrower, but I don't think that's gonna be useful. Let's go ahead and try and save at the nearest save point, which is gonna be around about backwards and through this hallway right here. This one, good. Ooh I'm not gonna lie, those guys who blend with the Kinesis, they're actually really cool. I do really love that as a feature in this game. It's super neat. All right, let's go ahead and, what's that? There's a thing at the end of there. Line racks. Awesome, you shouldn't have. Can we go in there? No, but there is a thing we can grab. It is a gold semiconductor, wowee. That's expensive. There's gotta be a baby or something down there, right? Not like the thing with we're hunting the necromorphs, but li a literal baby. A baby doll. But now it just sounds like a kind of cringe Tinder hookup. It's, it's not a Tinder thing. Okay, let's try this firing lane, range, because we all actually are safe first, because we did just find a gold semiconductor. Those are worth heaps. We'll see if we've got enough ammo, and if we don't, it's going to be absolutely fine. Uh, if I know anything from Hitman Absolution, it's that doing the firing range missions always gets you some kind of nice little reward. 
Okay, I'm gonna bust on through here and we'll see what we've got to to work with. Let's activate it. Boom. Three, two, one. Caution. Live fire, fire exercise. Boom, boom. There's another couple down there. Nice. Very nice. Oops. Okay, we already missed one. There's two here. One, two, three. I don't think we've got enough ammo for this. I think. Oh, I know exactly what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be using the pulse rifle. What? What do you mean? Oh, hello! I, I didn't realize you were going to join the party. My dude? Oh, hello! Necromorph behind me? Why don't you guys kind of get all lined up in a nice little... Okay, I just blew one apart with a bunch of fire extinguishers. That's hilarious. Excellent. Oh, hello! Okay, so you've got to do the firing range while these guys are, like, haunting you. That is so rough. That is so unbelievably rough. Do you even get anything for it? Oh my god, babies. No. No way in hell is this actually happening. There is no chance. I'm actually gonna blow that guy's wrist. Boom, there we go. Let's go ahead and get our flamethrower back out. We're running pretty low on ammo, but we are doing lots of damage with it. Hey buddy, sorry, just gonna burn you up here. What the hell is going on in here? Oh, I just survived the shooting gallery. Shooting range out of service. Please contact maintenance. Well, that was weird. Do we only get one shot at that? Ruby semiconductor. Nice though. Nice. What is this game? This is a dead space. This is a game all about if uh, zombies were aliens, and it's pretty damn good. Honestly, I, I'm loving it. I'm not seeing any like gifts or rewards that we could get or anything like that for beating the shooting gallery. We did activate it. We did survive it. I don't really think that there's anything else for us here, though, unfortunately. Maybe, oh, we're really harmed. Let's take a couple of health packs. Good. Get our health up to four bars out of five. Hello. Hello there. I don't know how to pronounce your name, so uh, yeah, just a, a simple hello. How much does it cost? Now, you could spend, like, a hundred bucks on this game pretty easily once. Or you could sign up to the EA Play service and... They'll give you access to all of the EA Play games for a month, which includes all of the Battlefield games, and as far as I know, all of the Dead Space games as well. So you could definitely do that. That is significantly cheaper. You probably won't want to play this game for any longer than a month, though. If you're going to be playing it in a bunch of different settings, it's it's going to be worth breaking it up into, into, into very, very large chunks of playtime. All right, who's in here? Anyone? No. Just this guy with this leg hanging out. That's fine. We're probably running pretty low on ammo, gotta be said. Why is my face gay? Uh, you're going real fast for a ban, my dude. Uh, don't ever speak like that on my channel again. Just don't do that. Oh my god, hello there, Necromorph. Oh, he got stasis. No, he didn't. Okay, let's go ahead and try and punch him to death. Right, good. There might be another one in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this spine in case we need to fire it off. We're probably gonna have to stasis that machine right there, which probably means that there is a stasis recharge station right here. Excellent. Or what? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna ban you. I'm, I'm gonna ban you. In fact, I'll do that right this second. Congratulations, you're the first ban on this channel, you absolute moron. I do not believe it. I literally cannot believe it. Done. Shadow banned. Excellent. Literally, literally zero. Literally zero lenience towards anybody who opens up like that. Okay, so now we can stasis this. I don't want to fire on through... Yep, nope. It's just frozen now. Okay, good. One guy over here that we can just kind of, like, mangle with this machine. Excellent. Don't know if he's still alive or not. Nope, he did not last very long because I fired a telekinesis into him. Thank you. What, for the uh, for banning that guy? <laughs> I, I, I have no chill, by the way. I'm still here.
Oh, okay. Uh, let me let me permanently ban you then. I thought a shadow ban would have been good enough. My mistake. I'll report you as well. There we go. Can everybody else still see his messages? There we go. Done. Wonderful. Okay, uh, bring it up Dead Space again. Let's keep on going. What a dick. What an actual dick. I can't believe that. That's the first dick here that we've actually had on the... Like, it, there have been a few people who've had prickly dispositions before, but ultimately they're still willing to kind of like hang out and, and talk and stuff. Hi, Hello? You hearing this? It's Chen. There, Hi, Chen. On the ring link. Did I lock him in alive? Chen's dead. You know that. I know my own fucking corporal. Chen, come in. We jettisoned him out into space. Yeah, usually people are like willing to at least hang out, but uh, that's the that's the first guy who's just come in and started actively throwing shade straight off the bat. What a twit! <laughs> what an actual twit! Okay, uh, we're gonna look in here. This is a big area. I actually kind of want to go to the end of this hallway first and see if there's nothing we can kind of find at the end of the here, because it seems as though there's a room right here that might have some goodies in it. Okay, this place is absolutely chock full of crap. Alright, good. I'm literally blocking out this this entryway as well. Oh, that was close. I almost just ran into that. Okay, good. Let's go in here. Hopefully we won't get got by that by the time we come out. Is this a node? No. 2,000 bucks though. That's pretty good. If only we found a shop yet. Okay, found some credits and a, a, a semiconductor. Found some line rack ammo. Line rack's not amazing. I think we'll have to upgrade it a little bit. You should name the stream uh, Bread Space First Ban. Uh, I, I don't really want to attract people to kind of like, hey, ban me too, because uh, I used to do that on Twitch. I used to have no chill when I, I banned people on Twitch. It, it was literally like, you get one warning and if you immediately break it, you're just gone for good. No, I'd never lift bans either. But all that did was attract more people into coming in being all like, oh, ban me, ban me, or I'm going to start saying a bunch of racial slurs and stuff like that. It's, it's just un an unpleasant atmosphere. So I'll, I'll ban them when it happens, but I'm not going to seek them out because they are rubbish people. It's usually best just to ignore people like that. Don't ever give somebody credit for being a piece of garbage. Okay, we've got a stasis recharge. That's not good. Probably going to get uh, attacked by a bunch of those... Oh, we don't want this one. Get rid of that. There he is! Okay, I'm going to go with hit and... Pop that. Oh, no. Pop that. Oops. Got to reload now. Explode him. Uh, let's get our flamethrower out. Because we actually need it right here. Alright, what else is there? Not a lot else. Okay, we've got one of those thingies on us. We actually missed one, which is absolutely fine. Okay, I don't know what that thing's doing on the ground down here. Baby, this is probably going to be a huge holdout, right? Yep. Miss me. I tried to fire literally anything at that baby, but it did not take. It's actually, instead of dying, it's using it as cover. Which is quite obnoxious. Okay, fire still does the trick. How much have we got? Nine seconds left of the flamethrower, which is not good at all. That's really bad indeed. We are probably going to be- What the hell is that? Oh, I think that's one of those guys that blink, right? Excellent. Okay, we still have quite a few rounds left in the chamber. I'm gonna go ahead and just use it on this guy real quick. And then I'm gonna punch him. Just the once- Oh my god, hello there, sir. Uh, welcome to the party. <laughs> well, that didn't save him, did it? Okay, I'm gonna stun him with the corpse of a baby. And then we're going to start harvesting his bits. So we can start firing his bits at other enemies that look like him. Oh, there's one way off in the distance over there. I don't know how much damage that did. Okay, that's loot. Thank you. That right there. That's a big one. Oh, hey there, my dude. It seems like we've got a brute onto us. Let's go ahead 
wait for him to get a little bit closer. We'll stasis him. We'll get our delicious little gun out. And then we'll start firing at his sides. How is he so nimble while being stasis? Okay, let's do that all over again. Uh, how do he... Is this guy, like, immune to stasis or something? Not really. One there and one there. Okay, we've got a couple of them. What the hell is going on with this guy? Is that him dead? What the hell? Wow, that guy was huge. <laughs> he had a lot of health as well. Uh, we did get a note out of him, which is absolutely perfect. Yeah, yeah I and I've had a lot of time to kind of come to the conclusion that people who just kind of like go around the internet just to spread hate, that I don't want them around and I know I don't want them around. I've been streaming for about maybe like four or five years as a hobby. Yeah, about five years or so. Started streaming back in uh, 2018. Just for fun. And it's, it's, it's really detrimental, honestly, when people just kind of abuse anonymity on the internet just to be pieces of garbage. It's, it's not something anybody wants around whatsoever. Okay, so, still looking around. We probably have probably used a lot of these electric fields to our advantage. Looks like we got some plasma cutter ammo, which is fantastic. Got 13 plasma cutter ammo, which I love. Got a med pack over here. Perfect. So, what are we looking at now? We're in a different part of the ship. It seems like this one's its own little enclosed ecosystem. And we can go straight through and into it. I have such a small channel that when I stream, nobody joins. Uh, you got to do it. you got to do it for um, for hours every single day. That's <laughs> that's basically how you succeed on YouTube. It's literally by always being around to be discovered. Like, if you take a look at streamers, they don't necessarily do what I do, which is around about six-hour days. I'm probably the uh, a lazy streamer. I'm what most streamers would consider a lazy streamer. But I have very high-energy videos, so the VODs also attract a uh, few people too. The that issue is, oh. It wasn't just a nuke. They came loaded for war, seek and destroy. This was no patrol. They knew about the Ishimura. Someone knew. We were all dead from the moment we arrived. Then why did they open the hatch? What? What? That doesn't make sense. That is kind of nice. Yeah, it is, it is and it isn't. Like, you can always get friends to come and hang out with you. That's the benefit of a small channel, but when you start outgrowing friends like I have, you, you start getting used to just some strangers coming on. Or people you, you don't necessarily know the face of. Is there a baby in here? I hear whispers. I don't see any baby. Ah, oh, I see some force energy. We gotta start using this gun, actually. Let's start using it now. Let's see what its ult does. But yeah, the issue is that if you aren't, like, chronically online, then there's just a, a lower chance of people finding you. And there's a higher chance of them discovering somebody that they're already pretty happy with. Hello? Oh, no, it was just fire that we were hearing there. Whoops. I just used all of my health instead of, uh, <laughs> instead of picking that thing up. Whoops. It's embarrassing. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Excellent. All right, what is over here? There is, there's a fuse box just over yonder's reach. Guarded by a bunch of flame jets. This looks to be an elevator that goes up, so probably just need to push on through, right? I'm doing that. I'm gonna try pushing on through. We also have the force gun. I'm not sure if this will do anything. Let's go ahead and move that out of the way, I hope. Fun fact, I found your channel by watching a little to the left. Oh no! Watching a little to the- is that a channel? Is that like a, uh, is, is that one of those guys that like, uh, harvests clips from, from YouTubers? I've never seen, I've never seen myself, like, get harvested by another YouTuber. But what I have seen is sometimes I'll be like scrolling my shorts feed once or twice a week. Until I see one of my own shorts. That's really funny. <laughs> it's really funny when YouTubers are like, oh, you know what you'd really like? Yourself! You narcissist. Why don't you look at your own image for a good minute? I love when YouTube does that. that it's just so funny. It's so tone deaf as well. Uh, this one should be jetting, shouldn't it? I don't want to get accidentally got by it. Okay, I'm running. I went. 
I think we're about to be attacked as well because I saw a little bit of frame drop. Jesus! That is a gamble and a half. How the hell is anyone supposed to get through there? Uh, let's go ahead and loot everything on this side. We're probably going to have to shift where the blasting is coming down. We got a node. Awesome. That is fantastic. Let's go ahead and... So... Does this block flame jets or something? Is, is that what I'm being led to believe? I did just see a flame jet come out of there as well, by the way. Uh, I'm going to cross. I crossed. Just an ordinary day in the circles of a hell Dante Inferno barbecue Korean style. Yep. Uh, I would love to actually see what Dante's Inferno Korean would be because that would probably culturally be the opposite of Dante's Inferno, which is like hellfire and brimstone Catholicism. Actually, if you want to talk Dante's Inferno, has anybody seen the anime, the Dante's Inferno anime that was made by a bunch of different artists? Okay, I don't know when the flame jets are going to pop through. I, d I don't want to accidentally blow myself. I'm going. Why are they just turning off when I'm close? That's weird. Very weird indeed. Go ahead and fire those boxes over there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and use a... We probably don't care about the fire suppression system too much, right? But what we do care about is getting blasted by this engine. Can we go down here? Let's see if there's anything down here worth going down. There is not. So what we do not want active is the fire suppression system. That is a big no-no. We actually want everything else. Hell yeah, death metal. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Lewis. Death metal. That's what I'm all about. Oh, we can do both of them. That's pleasant. Oops. True different art style. It is, isn't it? It's, it's really refreshing. Oh, that felt good, actually. I got the plasma cutter out. It does damage over time. Let's go ahead and just dodge all of the scorpions right here. Oh, there's another one. Would you look at that? They didn't hit me. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm, I'm going to have to burn you all to death, I think. Unfortunately. I, I, look, if there was another way around it, I would love to. But there, there just isn't, unfortunately. Wow, that was effective. Is he still alive? Oh my god, he's still alive! Stumpy, stumpy! Stump, stump! He's dead now. Good. Got him. Yeah, that was such a cool anime. When I found that one, it blew my mind. If you were to travel to one place in the world for free, where would you go? Side effect, you have as many days in that location as letters in that location. Either the Caribbean or New Caledonia. I love New Caledonia so much. We've got a very huge culture here in New Zealand of people going to Fiji. Fiji is really, really expensive and has the exact same climate and culture as uh, New Caledonia or New Mea. New Mea has also got fewer tourists and they speak French, so you get to learn a little bit of culture. On top of that, all of the people there bake like they're French as well, so you get very, 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 very fresh baking every single day. You're just wafting up from the streets. It's delicious. Love it. Absolutely great place. What game is this? This is dead space. This is an excellent. Oh, hey, buddy. Watch out, there's a necromorph behind you. Help me get him to the Kelly. No. Well, that was predictable. Whoa! That was not what I expected. Look, there's just a spine left of him. We can't even pick it up and huck it at an enemy. Oh, what a death! Hello, Gladys. Yeah, uh, so this is Dead Space. It is made by an indie studio. Uh, I'm not sure if you've ever heard them. They're called EA, Electronic Arts. Uh, they're famed with the first Sims game and microtransactions. They basically invented those two things. I don't know if that's a good thing. It's probably not a good thing. I'm running. Oh! Yeah, I wonder why. Oh my god. This actually sounds like a good place to save, to be quite honest, if it's about to blow. 
Okay, so we're in a bit of a sweaty point, right? We might even be closing in on the end of the game here. Okay, I'll evacuate by going into the nearest lift, which is the opposite of all fire advice that I've ever been given in my life. Are we about to be attacked? Because I'm not really interested in killing anything. I, I, I've got this gun right. Oh, okay, we're going this way then. Or not. Let's go this way instead. Are we being attacked? No. We're actually in a pretty good spot right here. Nice! I've heard good things about this game, so yeah, it looks cool. It's legendary. It's, it's legendary in ways. Let's fire a, a special thing right here. Whoa! Oh, that's bad boy! It's not very good. It's not very powerful. Gotta be said, the power of it is not amazing. But for kind of like a, an absolute clapper of a, of a gun, it's amazing. All right, I'm trying to fire the plasma cutter, but unfortunately, it's not really doing a hell of a lot. Okay, we got that guy. We're gonna take another lick, unfortunately. And now we've got full health, awesome. Oh, this guy's killing me with my own weapon. Dude, stop, thief. Okay, out of ammo. Just got hit, that's unfortunate. So we get the line gun back out, just in case we actually need to fire an exit strategy. Maybe right here with, oh, yes. It landed sideways. Just landed right there. Done! Come on, buddy! Oh, hell yes! Yes! Oh, that's so soothing! Do we have to, like, kill it with another spike, maybe? Is that it? That was annoyingly hectic, on account of us not having any ammo for the plasma cutter. But other than that, it was a pretty straightforward fight. We got a free med pack for that as well. Awesome. We'll use that immediately. Are we still being attacked? I hear the music. All right, we've got a couple of explosives over here. All right, this is fine. Let's go ahead, grab everything that isn't nailed down in this room because we're gonna need it. We probably should have used those little electro bits right there as well to kind of like just siphon off the health of, health of those enemies. That's really annoying right there. Okay, good. We've got some flamethrower fuel as well. We'll switch to our flamethrower because it is probably our most reliable weapon. What's the best gun? Everybody in the world says that it is the Ripper, which we are not using because it's it has infinite stagger capabilities, which means no one can really get close to you. But I don't really like the idea of that kind of cheese. I am all about this here flamethrower, which everybody says is a sucky weapon. It's not. It's honestly probably one of the best crowd control weapons in the game. Oh, watch out, buddy! Oh, he's so dead, right? Oh, he got through. Nice. Let's check out the map so we don't get stuck in here. Okay, we've got to go through here. There's probably going to be another holdout zone, unfortunately, which I am more than happy to do. Oh, this is where we came in through. Ah, the beds are exploding! Oh, that was close. Almost just walked on that. We'll wait for that to cycle over before we, uh... Yep, there we go. Yeah, honestly, Plasma Cutter, probably the best gun objectively, because it's... You get it right at the start, you learn how to use it really, really effectively, and dismemberment is the meta in this game. The intended meta. Oh, apparently that one is uh, locked. Strange. Gonna go ahead and save here, in case we get, a, get attacked. So we don't lose all that progress that we made from the last save. Alright, who else is in here? Who else wants a little bit of burning? Okay, here we go. Oh no, we've been knocked! I love how we jumped and we did like a woo, and then we kind of caught the gravity. Oh, Isaac. No! Pong. I am the debris. I'm the debris. It's me. Oh, this place. I remember this place. Mainly because we spent ages in here doing a puzzle and we killed a bunch of things. Isaac, okay. Come in. Cool. Fuck, that was close. Yeah, I'll say. Johnson, now Hammond, and I'm tracking movement from the Valor. I think some of those mutated soldiers made it on board. You don't say. What about the Valor Singularity Corps? It's covered in blood, but I got it. God, I hope Hammond was right about that shuttle. He said it was on the crew deck, along with every unitologist on the ship and their marker. You need to... Wait, someone's opened the door near the bridge atrium? Oh yeah, there's still, uh, Nicole's still here. Who's left with that kind of clearance? Nicole! Isaac, something's up, but we have to get that shuttle. For God's sake, oh, be careful. 
We're all that's left. Not gonna lie, this reminds me of Doom as well as Alien Isolation. That is actually a really good way of explaining this game. Kind of like a blend of Doom and Alien Isolation. Although they were, they were both in first person. The original Dead Space, this is a remake by the way, the original Dead Space came out in 2008. So it's not recent by any means. It's actually nothing short of legendary. Although Doom came out in like 1993? I think? I know that in 1994, downloads for Doom surpassed downloads for literally uh, Microsoft Windows. The voice sounds like Portal. Oh, hello there, buddy. I knew you were alive. Let's go ahead. We'll burn him up and then we'll punch him. Oh, oh never mind. Got some health out of that. Nice. Very nice. I like. What kind of dog is this? That's a necromorph. Okay, we'll go ahead and use the save station right here. Like Doom Eternal? Yeah, I definitely agree. The aesthetic is the same. Are we all really excited for Doom Medieval? I am so pumped for it. Oh, it looks so good. It seems like uh, the developers are doing away with the... The hell? Oh. They're doing away with the kind of like double jump grappling mechanics and glory kill dependencies, which I am really excited for. I, I miss the kind of like core brutality of Doom. I feel like it, they convoluted it a, a lot with those mechanics and some of them, they're kind of seamless, but at the same time, they're, they're a little invasive at the same time. Extremely excited for Doom Dark Ages. Yes, yes, yes. I'll play it on this channel. Probably also gonna play um, Doom Eternal on the channel. I played Doom 2016 on the channel, uh, not on the channel, uh, in private. It was really, really fun initially, but going for the achievements, man, that was a slog. Absolutely, yeah, just a nightmare of a slog, especially on PlayStation. Anything in here? Ah, ritual site. Very nice. Let's get away from there. Never come back. Okay, we're going into the main atrium. What the hell is that? What is that? It's like an aspect of all Doom games. It's a game. Yeah, it's the newest Doom that's coming out. Doom Eternal was the last one that kind of... It's supposed to polish off the story of the Doom Slayer. Like the Doom Marine himself, who's been around since, I kid you not, the first Doom game in 1993. Also, did everybody know that Doom Guy is the grandson of BJ Blazkowicz from Wolfenstein? And Doom Guy's father, the son of BJ Blaz Blazkowicz, invented the language for the Minecraft enchantments. Very cool. Is it on Steam? Is it an FPS? Yeah, it's like a, a, a super ultra gory first person shooter. It is legendary. People know Doom like the back of their hand. And I might bring it out in just a moment, but I also used to play Airsoft and I paid some guy 400 bucks to make me a helmet uh, based around Doom. It's really good. It's like a PVE. It's also got PVP. Doom Eternal also has really, really good PVP and a pretty a decent leveling system. Unfortunately, it's, uh, it's covered in sweaty players. <laughs> so it's, it's quite hard to actually get kills in the online versions. It's so fun though. Good God, it's so fun. If you've ever had like a bad day, play half an hour of uh, Doom 2016 or Doom Eternal. Your entire anger being will just leave your soul. You, the catharsis alone from those games is immense. All right, where are we going? Going this way. Which is good, because we're passing by a shop and we've got a pretty full inventory. Doom is honestly my favorite franchise of all time. Very, very close runner up being, the hell? Very close runner-up being the Silent Hill franchise. But I'm a little upset that the Silent Hill franchise got somewhat cancelled. There is a remake coming this October, but it, it did get somewhat cancelled. Silent Hill PT had a lot of disputes with Konami and um, the guys designing it, uh, Del Toro and Norman Reedus. And there's one other guy. I can't remember his name. Hideo Kojima, uh, they were all designing Silent Hill PT and unfortunately Kojima kind of uh, bullied them into leaving, so they did, and it never got published ever again. And also PT got taken off the, the Play Store as well. Very sad, very sad indeed. I would say that, but I grew up with Fallout, so I gotta suck up to it. Fallout's really good, I, I love Fallout as well. But Fallout is exclusively based on Mad Max. Silent Hill is actually based on an actual ghost town. Doom. I have no idea what Doom is based on, honestly. All of it seems pretty original, but also 
very dedicated to real kind of medieval hellfire and brimstone style Catholicism. And I'm, I'm all up in my demonocracy, so <laughs> I, I'm a sucker for it. So we could actually get the contact beam upgrade. I don't think we bother. We could afford a couple of these nodes. I think we get two nodes and then we sink the rest of our money into Flammenwerfer. Like this. 125, that's actually a pretty good amount. That's two minutes of being able to just blast this into an enemy's face. Wunderbar. I like ich Leben. After this, you could do Subnautica. Uh, maybe. I wanted to check out Voices of the Void. But somebody requested that I play that a couple of weeks ago. I checked it out. It looks like a roguelite kind of exorcism simulator with a, a bunch of different entities rather than ghosts. I'm gonna go ahead and save right here. I'll also check the map in case we just missed a locale to explore for goodies. We did actually. There may be something over here that was security level two or three because I think we're in the kind of starting area of the game now. What's in here? Nothing. Garbage. Hello? 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 Oh, hey there, Scorpion. I didn't see you there. How you doing? Have you subscribed to the channel yet? You should. Or I'll stomp your head off. Okay. He should have subbed. Oh, my God. Hello. I didn't realize there was going to be a second Scorpion. Bye-bye. <laughs> He's going to burn to death when the door closed. <laughs> nice. Favorite Fallout game? Man, this is probably going to be a hot take, but it's probably equal triple split between New Vegas, Fallout 4, and Fallout 76. Fallout 76 actually ended up being really, really fun. Like, I know they had the whole canvas bag fiasco and a lot of the fans thought that, uh, who was it? Bethesda sort of wiped their ass with their fan base, which I'm not going to defend. They absolutely did wipe their ass with their fan base uh, for that really, really shameful cash grab. But the game itself, very fun, very, very fun. And when the TV show came out, the, everybody then realized, hey, Fallout 76 is actually really good. And it got a big uh, thing. What I don't understand when the TV show came out is why Bethesda didn't create like a, a, a free DLC zone where you could kind of like explore the areas surrounding the TV show. That would have had such a massive influx of new players. I don't know why. They, they didn't do this because they dumped a lot of money into it too. Uh, New Vegas, probably for nostalgia purposes. And Fallout 4, because it's so... Uh, I, don't, I don't want to say like... Um, what is the word? It's not ingenious. It's not ingenuitive. Although that is a very, very close word to it. The mechanics are very original for a Fallout game. Like the, the building mechanics in Fallout 4 really really fun the settlement mechanics in fallout 4 i probably put 100 hours just into building settlements into that game when i was playing my 400 hours on the playstation it, it was that good i wasn't even using mods i'm gonna play it on the channel eventually i started with new vegas and went to 4 then 76 i totally agree yeah right fallout 3 is a little bit too jank to have aged as well as i would have liked and the first fallout games were basically top-down strategies they were fun like, there were some really, really funny mechanics about it. Like, if you start Fallout 1 with zero intelligence, you go around, you try and interact with literally a, per a single person. You don't know how to speak. You don't know how to how to communicate with anybody. So they just say, piss off until you, uh, you know, get a little bit of intelligence. And then you got to go on a side quest, a pretty hard side quest, to go and get a couple of uh, points into intellect so that you can actually speak to people to accept the quests. Like, that by itself, really, really funny. But from like a gameplay perspective, it's aged. It's aged a lot. I think I'll, I think after the release of the TV shows, everybody that I know or would be attracted to my channel would most certainly unequivocally agree with my take. Like it's a good take. This feels all kind of final, doesn't it? Oh, we also haven't been here apparently. Like people can hear my take now and be all like, oh yeah, that's the obvious answer. It's all three of those awesome ass games. But this time, three years ago, people were like, Fallout 76, what are you, a piece of garbage? Don't give them money for that crap. What controller am I using? Oh, I'm using mouse and keyboard now. But if you've got a PC, little pro tip for you, Sony released their DualSense 5 
software for PC players, so now you can actually use supported DualSense 5 for the PlayStation 5 on your PC. Very handy. Instead of a gamepad, which I don't kind of like the asymmetry of gamepads. Uh, so the DualSense 5, perfect. Love it. Good takes, I'm subscribing. Thanks so much, Yellowtail1. Welcome to the BFD division. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and check out what we can spend our six nodes on. I don't think we spent anything on HP, which is pretty damn funny. We wanted energy. Yeah, screw the suit. We're, we're going glass cannon. I think we might just want to dump into the flamethrower, right? We have dumped into the flamethrower. Okay, well, we've got a lot of points for the jellified hydrazine. It, it only costs one. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll maybe dump a couple of points into damage of the contact, the force gun. Uh, maybe not, actually. M maybe maybe we save up for something else. The plasma cutter, we aren't getting anywhere near enough ammo to reward us for the absolute amount of shots that we have actually stuck into this thing. We also don't want weighted blades on this thing because we don't want enemies to be knocked onto their ground when we hit them. We just want to be able to spam punches. We want to get the old lift, 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 lift until they die. Okay. But yeah, I got so much shade when I was playing Fallout 76 back in 20... 19 back in 2019 in the start of 2019 i played fallout 76 people were telling me i that i am literally wasting my time with a with a crap game made by crap developers with a with crap cash grab and now oh look everyone's like oh it's the best game ever made look at the tv show like it's, it's it's silly isn't it but i really it baffles me that these people don't create a free dlc zone that correlates with the tv show that they are actually releasing because it's basically Free money! You get all of the old players coming back for more playtime, the old players who actually spent money on the game. And you get a huge influx of new players as well. And then they start talking to each other and they they compare notes and they realize, hey, this game is awesome. See, so you, you you magnify your community. Okay, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I'm pretty happy actually with where we just dumped all of our points into. I think we're getting into a fairly final section of the game. Oh, we're actually in a completely new zone. Oh no, this might not be good. Let's go ahead. Look, hello? Isaac, I'm losing you. Something oh, hey. on the deck must be interfering with the signal. I can guess what that something is. It's Nicole. The marker's active. Shit. She's jealous. The deck is locked down, but the deck supervisor might have an override key. The last location I have for her is the gym. How long will it take to install the singularity core on that shuttle? Not long, if no one tries to stop me. Hurry, we can't leave the marker in their hands. This is the most convoluted vending machine I've ever seen, by the way. Oh, what do we all think of the... Yeah, I mentioned the settlements of Fallout 4. What do we all think of these settlements in Fallout 4? Did we absolutely love the DLC or what? Like the one that added crafting and automation chains to the game? Like, come on, that is... That's Bethesda just knowing their audience like the back of their hand. That's exactly what we wanted. We wanted to be able to automate uh, all of these zones. All of these awesome little zones that we cleared with combat. We want to be able to use them to craft weaponry and share resources amongst each other. That is just so cool. It's so self-aware. Let's go ahead, grab this. Line gun racks. Don't know why that's here. There's a store down here. Oh my god. Oh, help! hello there. Oh, okay. I just got jump scared by a render. Let's go ahead and stop them. A, a lady, you are sitting in that chair all wrong. Do you need a tutorial? Ah, she'll figure it out. Okay, let's go ahead and use the shop if we can. I've already lost it. Where the hell was it? Is it over here? No. It was right here. Oxygen tank? No thank you. Why the hell would I want that? There's air everywhere. Why are you separated from everyone? You get over there. <laughs> she did like a, a funny little... A funny little riz pose before she fell over there. Okay. We got no money, but we've got a lot of crap in our pockets. We probably want to sell some of these things, like this gold semiconductor. We can definitely sell that. The ruby semiconductor, that's a huge cash cow for us. We don't really want all of these pulse rounds. I don't know why we've still got them. Because the explosives don't actually do that much damage. Maybe it'll be good later, but I, I just don't know. We'll sell this, uh, this oxygen for a thousand bucks. I didn't realize that's what a breath of air actually cost. She needs a step-by-step -step guide. What, for the chair? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Or a step-by-step -step guide would more be for kind of like a footstool, wouldn't it? One of those Edison chairs. Okay, I'm going to save here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and check the map really quickly to see if we can't find ourselves the right direction. It is that way. Apparently this is just a locked door that we can't go in. Why not? Oh, we need like a, the, oh, we need the crew deck key card, okay. Why are all these people dead with sex on their head? It's, this isn't like a seppuku cult or this table is trying to riz me as well. This isn't like a seppuku cult, is it? Like these people all just use the the plastic bag and drawstring method on the head, which is uh, surprisingly common if you are aware of the mortality rates of people in the world. Okay, we'll go on forward to the Zero G gym. Okay, Zero G is allowed in this gym. Unfortunately, Isaac is definitely a G unit. I'm gonna take these pliers right here. Break into this vending machine, have a snack of chips. We also haven't eaten since we got here. We must be starving. Okay, what's in here? It seems as though there is a green hoop and a red hoop. Not sure what they do. There's a bin. What is this? Locker room and showers. Do we want to harass people in here? Let's harass people in the locker room and showers. What's going on, my dizzles? Schematics. Ooh, advanced engineering. God, if only we could afford that, because I can guarantee we cannot afford that. Ah. These people will die in the shower. I thought we were being attacked, but everyone's just having a shower. Hey, you gotta get X under the water. There you go, my friend. Don't worry about it. Yellow, hello there, dog shark. How are we today? We're just harassing a bunch of people in the bathrooms here. This guy didn't die well. Does he have a sack on his head? She, sorry. No, she does not. Oh, she's actually a, um, a rational thinking person, I think. I don't think she stuck a bag on her head. I think she, I think she died of everything else in the place. Whoops! Didn't mean to throw her like that. Let's go ahead and open this. So this is the way we're supposed to be. Oh, never mind. That was close. We almost missed a text log. We were never going to read. Done. Okay, we can't open any of these lockers here, which is fine. Oh yeah, this is a spoiler gym game. Sorry, spoiler game? No, it's not. You're watching a let's play. There's no spoilers here. Uh, we should probably fire this lady into the red one, right? Whoops, I threw her into the yellow one instead. That's embarrassing. Okay, let's play Zero G Ball. It hot. Nice. Okay, do I have to get closer or something? What do you want me to fire it into? Here, the green one? The green is five. Gotcha. Ten. My high score is ten so far. What's red? Fifteen. I'm being attacked by babies. I'm literally being attacked by babies. Okay, I don't care. I literally do, could not give any more of a care in the world right now. Where is that baby? Right there. There you go. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, baby, burn. If we just move around in circles, I'm pretty sure the baby is just gonna miss us like crazy. I can't believe this is actually functioning. Almost as intended. Okay, we only need five more to kind of beat this area. And here we go. We haven't taken a single lick of damage. Ow, you penis. Right, die baby, die. Okay, one baby dead. I don't know where the other baby is. Just down here. Die baby. It's more or less dead. I'm gonna use a bunch of health. We don't have any more health to use, unfortunately. Let's just try and, and juke. I think that's gonna be what we're supposed to be doing right now. Uh, let's reorient ourselves so we can actually see what the hell is going on. Ow, that cost us lots. Where is this baby? There it is. Okay, that's not actually the one that we're going against, it seems. Oh, poos. Damn it, we have to kill all the babies, I think. Right, out of range just a little bit. That's not out of range, that is dead. Whew. He wanted to play this game himself? Oh, that makes sense, okay. So we got a high score of 50, which is actually pretty good. I don't know if every time we activate this, we are going to, you know, kind of get enemy spawns, but we only have one more lick of health. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try and unlock a save station. Well, oh, damn it. Where is the nearest save station, actually? It is not even remotely close to us. I'm gonna save and then we're gonna try again. We'll see if we spawn any more enemies. And I think we could probably just periodically kill everything that spawns before focusing on the basketball 
And then we'll see whether or not the basketball game actually allows us enough time to continue on with what we need to do. There it is, right there. Whew. Okay. Go here, we'll save. Because we only have a little, a little dude left of health. We don't necessarily want to die. I'm going to get this. We're going to get this basketball basically polished off. Uh, we got a little bit of HP that we can regenerate, but not a lot more. We've got two little bits of health. And we are going back in for another round. All right, let's see. Excellent. Okay, we probably want to get this lady out of the booth. Level one, go. Wow, slam dunk. You did it. Excellent shot. Wow, great. Nice goal. Wowee! I can't believe it's not basketball! Okay, let's go ahead and fire this one. Uh, whoops! I dropped the ball, sorry guys. Like, I literally dropped the ball. I'm gonna move around in circles until we see the, uh, the traditional acid flying above our head. Okay, good, and fire, and... Or not. Fire away! It's a little bit of a damp farce that we kind of have to be in gravity. I would have probably preferred to do this from the ground. Okay, so up until like 70, I think we should be in the clear for babies. We might get another couple of spawns. We'll take care of them when we need to. There is the next one. One right there. What are we looking at? Another one right here. Boop. And we need two more for this little phase before we probably have to start focusing on enemies. Good. And one more. There we go. Okay, let's start focusing on the enemies that are about to attack us. Because there are going to be enemies that are about to attack us. And almost guarantee or not. Strange. Okay, let's just start firing around. Willy nilly. Okay, good. Another one there. Where's the next ball? There it is. Fire it in there. Maybe we get attacked in 100? I thought that there was going to be significantly more enemies in here. I didn't think this was literally going to be basketball. This is highly unusual. Where are the spanners thrown into the into the works? We're actually playing a game here. I don't believe this. Oops. Dead space actually allowing you a game? Oh, this. Okay, there we go. Good. We're making pretty good time, honestly. But we are basically cheesing the game. To a point. Oh man, they're starting to fire the balls out pretty hard, actually. Maybe you want to take a bit of a step back. Start firing them in. Good, we're almost at the 160 mark. Excellent, and boom. Nice. We're at level five. I think I saw that there were eight levels on the lockers. Maybe there were eight lockers. Nice one, Wii Sports. It is like that, isn't it? It is a lot like Wii Sports. Man, the Wii was a, oh, the Wii was a God tier console. Gotta be said. Okay, let's see how many more that we have. We'll actually count out the lockers. Okay, another two. Oh, I see, they've actually got the number on them. That's awesome. Just force energy, yuck. Just credits, yuck. Okay, so we need to beat level six and we're gonna have all the time in the world to do so. That's fine, actually. We can do this. We can do this. Let's go ahead and not screw around. Two, one, go! So we probably don't even really need to be f flying around at this point, right? Yep, struggling to get a, a grip on that one. Who's next? That one right there, good. Fire that into the blue. This reminds me of Final Fantasy XII. Or is it ten? The one with Blitzball. Oh God, I love that game so much. That was so fun. You could spend literally hours playing that on end without any kind of without any kind of break. A lot easier than that achievement for dodging lightning a thousand times. That was just rough. Okay, good. And this one's next. Oops, I think we actually just missed one. Hilarious. I wonder if we get more points for firing them into the lit up ones. Not really. Not really, no. Okay. Boom. Boom. Oh, maybe we do actually. Maybe we get more points for firing them into the lit ones. Should we wait for the lit ones then? Oh, we do! We do get more points! Okay, so you get 10 points for firing them into the illuminated ones. Whoops. That was embarrassing. But I'm pretty sure we just fired it into a pretty good shot. Uh, right there. Good. Who am's next? Blue? Sure. Nice. Uh, into the red this time. Excellent. Our high score is looking pretty damn good. 
go into the yellow for literally no reason whatsoever. Fire it into the red this time. Very cash money. All right, we're up to level five now. I'm gonna fire it into here. I don't know if that actually counted it as a double, but I saw it illuminate the yellow as I fired it in. It did not. Okay, that's fine. We'll get kind of like an attack back. Next time we get another five. Two still equals one. Okay, good. One over here. Don't know which one's gonna be illuminated. I'm just gonna shoot my shot and hope for the best. We still got lots of time, honestly. Look at this, I think we've mastered the game. Wonderful. And in here, we are now at level six. We need 220. Okay, perfect. Got an illuminated one right there. And let's bang this one into red. Nice. We are very, very, oops. We are very, very close to beating this bad, this bad boy. Let's fire this into the blue right there. Didn't necessarily get anything good out of it. Yellow is illuminated. Let's fire it into there. Excellent. So we only need 25 more points in 30 seconds. That's doable. That's doable. Metalocalypse meme for you right there. What a TV show that was. I hope that comes back one day. I hope it doesn't come back all woke though. I think the appeal of Metalocalypse was that it was just like quite self-aware in how crass it was. We did it! Let's try for the, the high score. Let's see how many we can get. Boom! Nice! Got it right in the blue hole right there. Gonna fire it into the green there. Excellent. Maybe we could sink it. Oh. I think if you fire it into the same hole consecutively, you get kind of like a multiplier. But I also kind of think that the game is aware that you get the multiplier. So it's closing them off as we're going. Oh, fuck it. So close. All right, got that one right there. The green is now illuminated. Let's go ahead and fire one into the green. Excellent. We got 275 so far. Can we break 300? I don't know. No, probably not. Oh, so close. We got 280. Has anyone beaten my score of 280? That was fun, actually. I actually really liked that. That was super fun. How did it know my name? Weird. Okay, Ruby Semiconductor. Nice. Oh, Node. Thank you so much. That Node obviously wasn't worth it, but the, the Ruby Semiconductor, definitely worth it. Okay, so now I'm actually going to go ahead and do the objective, which is, oh, piss, to find this battery and get it through this door right here. Here we go. So where do we put this bad boy? Right there. Okay, let's jam it in. Nice. It accepted. Let's go ahead, use it. I don't think we've got a lot of flamethrower fuel anymore. Let's get all this out of the way, because I uh, don't want to trip it. The hell happened with that table? Weird. Okay, what's that? That is some force energy. Excellent. What is this? That This appears to be a dead man of some sort. A very squelchy dead man. Whoop! That guy did not die well. Looks like he had his jaw bitten off and then his torso. Oh, well, sucks to be him. We got a crude deck card. Oh, that's what we needed to get into the other zone. Are we going to be attacked up here? Maybe. Is there anything up here? No, not really. Okie dokie! I don't think anyone can beat 280. It does seem borderline impossible, doesn't it? Although, actually, give me a few more attempts. I could probably break uh, 350. Okay, we don't want to go in there. We actually want to go this way, because this is the... What the hell was that sound? I think I just heard a monster of some sort. On the dead spaceship? No way! A monster! Crazy. Lies and filth. To quote the Silent Hill film. Probably have to go this way, right? Yeah, definitely. Hello? What the hell is that? Oh! No, this is the last place we want one of these bastards. Boop. I blew it. I blew it up. We probably want another couple of them, right? Oh, there is another one! Damn it! Cease! Cease your incessant resurrecting! Oh, good. I punched him off. Excellent. Nice, nice, nice. Because we've got no help. All right, let's try and beat him to death. Boom, 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 boom. This ship becomes your tomb. Good. We also got a health pack, which I'm going to immediately use. Nice. Okay, so we can now use this. I could probably stomp a couple of things, see if they drop any goodies. Like this guy or this guy. No, I think that was actually a human I just stomped. That's embarrassing. You know you're getting desensitized when you literally cannot tell the difference. 
I grinded and got 300 in the OG, took three of them. Pretty good. Were you specifically like waiting until they illuminated? Because that would be my strategy, I think. I would probably wait until one illuminates and then specifically try and snipe them, unless the illuminated ones had just been covered in which I just shoot my shot in any random one, just to get some points while I'm waiting for the illuminated one to be exposed. If I, if I were to try and farm that for points, that's exactly how I would do it. Whoa, okay. Still alive, Mr. Clark. I'm still denied convergence thanks to this ingrate. Mercer, wait. Tell me. I want to understand. What is convergence? But you already know. Dead or living, we all feel the markers to purpose. <laughs> to kill everything! What we reunited. With the people you lost. I... Yes. Dis -dis. Then why not help me? Mr. Temple has refused. But we are so close. Everything that has happened on the Shimura is just the beginning. Oh, I know, believe me. That way, you and your marker can go to hell. Don't you see? The marker is hell. We've got the regenerator here again. Hello! Don't mind me. I'm just going to uh, kind of look around. I'm probably going to get this box right here. And then I'm going to loot it. Uh, I'm going to go around to you. I, I, I don't mind if you kind of like follow along behind. It's it's no no issue to me. Yeah, this guy right here. I'm pretty sure he was supposed to be exactly where that gunshot was. Oop, Nemesis is over here. What a dingleberry. What an actual dingleberry. A dildo and a half. He is literally the embodiment of a dildo. Yeah, take some temples. <laughs> Got a little bit of frame drop for that. Okay, let's use whatever's in here. Oh, hello there, friend. I'm just gonna go around you really quickly. Okay, let's look for more nodes that we could possibly shoot. Nope, that's not it. Okay, good. 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 Damn, my falsetto range is best when I'm playing horror games. Maybe I should... Maybe I should start a band, but instead of, like, actually taking it seriously, I just sit and play video games while everybody else plays instruments around me. The weirdest operatic concert in the world. Oh, no. He's been hurt. By something. Probably not Jacob Temple. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reload. There's probably other things above us, right? While oh, this guy kind of, like, faffs around. Okay, what does this do? Nothing. It's just ambience. Can we maybe go in here? No, no we cannot. Oh, there's a couple of lockers over here. Oh, hello! Sorry. Caught me off guard. <laughs> Alright, what else have we got? There's a light up there. Is there a what's my dingle around here? Hey, buddy! Burn, baby, burn! Ow. I'm surprised that one caught me, to be quite honest. Yeah, there's got to be a couple of pustules all around the place, right? Uh, I don't know what he's doing, but he's hurt. Where the hell are we supposed to be going? I don't actually see anything to blow. Oh, I see the marker. We don't have to blow the marker up, do we? No. No, it's not making a single difference. Do I survive? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing here? Do I leave? I could, I could just, no, I can't leave. The door's been bolted up. Oh, there's also this right over here. Oh, what's this? Nice. Bit of money right there. Excellent. All right, put on them
That's <laughs> gross. What was your least favorite grade in grade school and your favorite? We don't have grade schools here. Um, I can tell you what age was my least favorite. Uh, 14 years old, because when I was 14, oh, right, Isaac. I'll tell you Everything's going to be just like it was. Thanks, Jen. Yeah, I caught meningitis when I was uh, 14 and all of my friends abandoned me. So I was in the hospital basically accepting that I'd already died uh, with all of my friends having left. And then, best year of my life, 15, where I met a bunch of friends who actually stuck around if I ever needed them. I live with one right now. It's fantastic. I actually loved being 15. Where would you rank Dead Space in horror games you've played recently? It's me. It's up there. I don't care. Dude, don't apologize if you're just gonna keep on doing it again. What the hell is wrong with you? Have some accountability, you piece of garbage. Are we supposed to go this way? Yes. Oh! Hey, the, um... The marker language. Marker, the, uh, the objective is in marker language. I'm trying to look at it. The last two, like, letters in the word, word are the same. Ah, wait, it's very nice. So that was all that was down here. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's up here. It's a, it's, it's, it's a big old, uh, uh, how, God, W. It's a big W. Big W game. I wish I could talk to you. I wish I could talk to you. I am the marker, Isaac. You are so strong. You are so, so strong. For a living piece of meat, you are so strong. Date start. Date the marker. <laughs> oh, that'd be so stupid. Oh, hey, buddy. Slender Man, what's up? I didn't see you there. Oh, there's a little uh, crawling face as well. That's absolutely delightful, isn't it? Oh, hello there. There is another Slenderman. Okay, now I think we bust out the big guns, right? And now... Oh my god, they're immune to the gravity well! That is not good. That is actually a big bad. Oh, there's some money there too. I want to grab it, but probably shouldn't just yet, should I? Okay, let's not run on the um, crap and garbage on the ground. Hey there, guys! I didn't see you there. I'm just going to burn you. Uh, I don't really care. Alright, that's done. This one's going to go down pretty soon as well, I think. Yep, he's down there. He's going to dump a bunch of Enemies all over the ground. No, it's not. He's still up. Probably take him out with my fist, right? All right, there's one. Oh, they're made of like individual body parts. So, stamp on the ground. Jump, 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 jump. Move it all around. That's an old throwback. My God, I was 15 when I heard that one. Yeah, like it's it's hard to say honestly. I've played a lot of horror games recently. This one probably has to take the cream of the crop simply because it has its own full complete narrative as well as just an, ab an obvious absolute ass load of money dumped into its production. And it shows. Like EA has not done a lot of things right recently. This one is one of them. It's, it's, it's one of the very few things where EA basically shows, hey, we are very much still active and uh, relevant in the gaming communities. I really want to take a look at maybe the flamethrower. Is there anything else that we can upgrade? No, we've got all the nodes in there. So force gun, not really a lot we could do in there either. Contact beam, not using line gun, kind of crap actually. Well, I mean, we also haven't upgraded it. What is it special? Greatly increases, increases laser trap damage. Okay, we're gonna start farming for that. I still haven't sunk a single point into health. Oh, well, maybe I've sunk one because I only, I had to to get the the perk for the, uh, what's it called, the stasis. Stasis area of effect. Okay, let's go ahead, we'll go into the store. We will sell all of the semi, oh. Cert level five. Yes, fashion souls is coming in hot and heavy. It's 60 grand though, good grief. Oh, we may actually have that. I'm gonna sell this Ruby Seven Conductor. I'm gonna sell this Ruby Seven Conductor. Probably don't need all of this line gun ammo because it takes up a hell of a lot of space. It's basically dead space in our inventory. Probably don't need it all. Let's just sell a couple of them. We'll get ourselves up to a pretty good base neutral. 
We also have a lot of this plasma rifle ammo, which I'm pretty sure that maybe we should actually start swapping our gear up with. I'm going to keep that stasis pack. Maybe we're about to approach a boss fight of some sort. Should be really, really good. Do you think? Do you ever think you'll get 100,000 subs? Good God, that'd be the dream, wouldn't it? I've got a friend who's been doing YouTube for 14 flat years. He's got 65,000 subs. But he may be a little bit limited because he only yeah, exclusively plays Skate 3. And then he played a little bit of... Um, what was it called? Warface, which is a fun game, but it's more fun to play than it is to watch, so they didn't do too well. Makes a lot of sense. He's been on the channel quite frequently as well. It's Epic Flying Horse. I play uh, all the funny and spooky co-op games with him. Yeah, so we've got no nodes. We can't afford the suit upgrade. I'm hoping that there's going to be some kind of save station right ahead of us. And we should be in a really, really good place to probably even tackle what I'm assuming to be some sense of finality. Okay, nothing down here, which is pretty nice. I saw that down here is a dead end, so let's go down here and we'll see what we've got to work with. Nice, another node straight off the bat, and I'm pretty sure we've got some flamethrower ammo. We most certainly did, my dudes! Great! We'll probably actually spend that node as well. Alright, we just used some HP. Really need a save station, don't we? Ah, oh, perfect! Nice! Good! Let's go ahead and save on this bad boy. We'll rub our face against it until it never forgets us. Thank you, Karen. I hear monsters. Okay, we're off to the crew quarters deck. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, hello. Who is it? Scorpion. It's a scorpion. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm going to beat you to death with my fists. I hope that you're not doing anything today because I cleared my calendar so I can beat you to death with my fists. How does this feel? Is this nice? Is this a nice, soothing, relaxing massage for you, my dude? Yeah? You like this? Okay. Ah, oh, nice. Health flew out of him with uh, speed too. I hope he doesn't need this piece of him because I probably actually need it more. Let's go ahead and go into the crew quarters. Hello? I just killed one of your brothers! Whoops. Just knocked a pole onto the ground, which we're probably actually going to need to use very shortly. Symptoms. That's us. What was the last promise to the Greek? The Greek? Or the guilt? Your bone is hanging out. <laughs> He's just standing there taking it like a simp. I find you a lot like Markiplier. You have no idea how much of a compliment that means to me. That feels so good. I love Markiplier. I, I don't want to say I grew up watching, watching Markiplier. I got to the Markiplier party really late after he chilled out. I was like, oh, he's not so obnoxious and screaming anymore. And then I went back to his old content and thought, yo, this slaps. I actually really like this. So, uh, you know, Markiplier fan right here. Just a late bloomer, you could say. Okay, nothing there. I don't think we're going to need the boner. We're, gonna, we're probably not going to need the boner for what we're doing, right? I think there, there's going to be something that may disable the uh, writhing, pulsating uh, mess. It's probably throbbing in this area just over here in the mess hall. Making a literal mess. Same. Oh, did you also get to the party late? That's so funny. I don't have a single friend who likes Markiplier videos either, so it's like a guilty pleasure of mine. But then I go onto the internet and everyone's all like, oh, you, you like Markiplier too. I, I love that guy so much. He's so funny. I was watching him play uh, Sons of the Forest recently. I've, he's he's adapted well. He hasn't really changed his playstyle so much. He's chilled out a little bit recently, but I feel like what he's doing these days is getting like a good three to four hour recording and then getting his editor to condense that down into a nice bite-sized half an hour. Well, well done. It's a good way of adapting. It's good value. Okay, so we can't go in here. I haven't seen a battery anywhere. We're going to have to go back and check for one. I like his FNAF World playlist. Oh, I watched, I watched Matt Pat play FNAF World. I'm... Don't know why it was delisted, either. FNAF World was... Like, I can see why some people would be upset that it released instead of other things that a lot of people would find more pressing, but at the same time, it was still a game. And it was still a, a good game. Like, an objectively good game. In its genre. I don't know why it was delisted. It makes no sense to me. Okay, we probably have to go even further back. 
What else have we got? I really liked his Evil Within playlist. That was so funny. Soup to the face. Okay, we'll check our map. I don't think that going in here is really that helpful. Apparently we have to go back into the room we were just in. What? I mean, I'll do it. I think I just accidentally used a health pack, which is fine. Two chairs facing each other, that's weird. So over here, there's supposed to be a what's my dangle. Connection lost? No? Hello? Is it telling me to go to the venture? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. Oops, that was excessive. We gotta unblock a door. I don't think I would have organically figured that one out by myself, to be honest. Good. We've barricaded an entryway for the Necromorphs. Ah. Hello there, lady. Uh, I couldn't help but notice that your room is covered in farts. There is a head. Oops. I think I just used another health pack. Okay, I'm going into the fart room. You don't say. You don't say. Okay, let's go ahead pick these up. I'm pretty sure we're about to be attacked by something. There's my energy. I'm happy with that. That's awesome. Let's go ahead. I'm I'm thinking we just loot these this room, right? And then we go out, we have a, a breath, and then we're fine. Some credits right there. We continue onwards. We're probably going to find a Necromorph, but I don't particularly care too much about them. We haven't upgraded our O2 capacity at all, by the way. I put the ass in glass cannon. Thank you, Doctor. Can't wait to read that ever. Right, what is this? Who said that? Who needs pole? Who needs pole to the chest? There is a guy pinned to the wall right here. Oh no, he's just hanging out of his bed. Hello? I hear the screaming. Oh, hey there, buddy. Oh, I think I missed. No, I didn't. All right, let's go ahead and flame him up. Because we've got flame for up the spear. Burn, baby, burn. I'm actually going to escape here. We are going to run all the way back and take a breath. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Three seconds. Two seconds. Oh, oh my God. That was so close. Oh, do you know when this game ends and how close you are? No, I have no idea. I never got to play it, um, the, the first iteration of this game. But I will be playing it in New Game Plus as well as uh, how we're playing it now, blind. Because I played the ever-loving hell out of Dead Space 3. That was so... Oh, hello there. Okay, got another Watsma Dingle over here. I think he just uh, birthed an egg on the ground, which is disgusting. I can hear his guttural bubblings in his stomach. That is also revolting. Okay, a lot of line rack ammo. Don't really want any of that kind of stuff. Here go then. Third room! Are we gonna get attacked in here? Maybe. Who knows? But yeah, don't worry about missing everything. All of these VODs are recorded into their own kind of little videos and they'll they'll go up on YouTube whenever they actually get around to being rendered. Got another note here. Wow, we may actually be gearing up for the end game. Is there another room that we have not filch from? Kind of. I'm just around the side of it. Yeah, I'm actually going to take this battery. We're going to yeet this all the way to the end of the room there. Oh, I thought we were being attacked, but it seems that we are not being attacked whatsoever. Ah! Oh, hello there. Excellent. I've blown the dendril. Gross. Ew. Brody. Yuck! Hey there, you spe- Oh my god, what's going on? Hi! Uh, Nemesis? Uh, what's good, my dude? Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go around here if you don't mind. You have yourself a cash money day, okay? Alright, where are we going? We want to take this. Oh, piss, we're actually getting attacked by a bunch of rude dudes now. Good, good, good! No, that's not good, that's a, that's a pregnant thing! That thing is pregnant! Oh! Yuck! I don't want to see a birth! I hardly consented to my own birth! Alright, where's this other one? There's one more. Hey, buddy! Whoop. Impaled! Nice! Hey there, you space cow! What we doing in this Sunday night? Well, here where I live, it's actually... Uh, <laughs> it's actually not Sunday night. It may actually be uh, Monday afternoon. Crazy, huh? 
All right, got the pole over there. Probably could have used it, but we didn't. Let's go ahead and check the map. See if we can't... Okay, so we don't want to go through there. But there is a saving point on the other side of this door, so I'm going to go ahead and utilize this bad boy right here. Hello, Karen. I'm here to take a photo of my illustrious face. I went to Hawaii this summer and got this cute sticker. It was a cow made of cocoa beans, and it said kabao. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much for sharing. I do like that. I've never been to Hawaii. I've been to California. I adored it. Good God, I loved it there so much. I love... A lot of people laugh when I say this because like, ha oh, ha, America pollution. I absolutely adored the pollution at nighttime in California. It was like a summer in Cali, I think. I love the pollution because the sky was, I kid you not, neon orange. If no one's seen it before, I, can't, I there's no better way of explaining it. It's so good. Oh, gee, mama, that sounds like a sweet deal. Mind if I steal that sticker? Yeah, you can have it. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it. Oh, we only have nine, uh, oh, hello. This is a bad time for you to spawn, actually. I was just talking about how little ammo we have. Oh, piss. That was so lucky. I was already switching weapons by the time he came around the corner. Because I think we're out of flamethrower fuel. We just bought some. We actually have quite a bit of the plasma cutter, actually. We might want to use this a little bit more than we have been. All right, let's check out map. Anything good around here to loot? Yeah, quite a bit, actually. So we want to go all the way through. There is an elevator right here that we've already been in before. I'm going to go all the way back, it seems. I can do that. I'm happy with that. Okay. Do I live really close to California? I can drive there. It's so good, isn't it? And oh my god, the fruit there is insane. I found strawberries as big as my fist. Here in New Zealand, they don't come anywhere close to that. Here in New Zealand, they're probably about as, as big as blueberries. American blueberries. Hello? Oh, it's going to be Nemesis, right? No, it's just going to be a lazy jump scare. Nice try, game. Nice try. Nice try. Okay, who's in here? Who needs it? Who needs a good cutting? Who's got some plasma that needs that needs cut off? Oh, perfect. We have a lift. Bye bye. I think Nemesis just spawned down here, and I was like, nope. Uh, can we shoot any other little pustules off, maybe? No, it, it doesn't really look like there are any pustules that we can we can really fire off with our gun, is there? No, 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 no. Do we go in here? We're at a completely different zone, by the way. This is all new to me. Oh, wow, this area is really, really big. Oh, damn, there's also a shop up here. Let's go ahead and check out this shop. Ooh, thank you. Nice. Very good. I have the best ghost pepper tacos of my life. Their food is amazing, too. A lot of people credit New Zealand with having really, really kind of healthy food, I would say. But here in New Zealand, our Taco Bell and Nando's has boiled chicken, at least down in southern New Zealand. I don't know about the North Island, but down here it's boiled chicken, which is nice if it's going to be like a wet food, but tacos are, tacos and burritos are not supposed to be wet. Taco Bell over in America, I could have lived on that. That was so goddamn good. Oh, and I actually ended up gaining muscle instead of gaining fat because of my lifestyle. Insane. We are running low on inventory space. We probably maybe want to keep one of these stasis packs in case we actually need to re-up. Probably don't need so much line gun ammo. I'm gonna go ahead and sell, not two stacks, but the stack and a bit that we have. Maybe we don't need this much pul this much gravity ammo either. This one probably could go in storage because it's expensive and hard to get. What else have we got? We probably want to swap out. No, we want to keep the line gun now, actually, now that we know how to use it. The special is what we want. The special is what we want to use. I hear, I hear a big bombardier slapping around in the distance. Hello? Which is absolutely fine, because I've got a cutter. Find the shuttle. You need to install the singularity core. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Of course I can hear you. I, Isaac didn't even bother try respond. You are the only other guy I know that likes American Taco Bell. Everyone else says it's crap. It is crap. If you guys have the luxury of living in America, for Taco Bell. It, honestly, if you ever come to New Zealand, try it here. You'll be like, this is absolutely revolting. It is, it is so bad. I've also never been to Mexico. I've never actually been to Mexico, so I can't like verify whether or not Mexican food is better. All I know is that Taco Bell not only has delicious food, 
and delicious sauces, but they have crispy chicken. What, what is it? Why am I quarantined in here? Oh, hello, buddy. What did I just blow up? Oh, I spit it. That's fine. I don't mind. Oh, what the hell? How did I get caught by that one? Why am I so slow? What the hell? Was that a bug? Maybe. Hard to tell, actually. Okie dokie. Just gonna dip around him. I think I hit his friend from behind. Oh, piss off. Piss off! Uh, we don't want to be eaten by him. We have literally lost all of our health to these wankers spitting goops at us. That is vile. I'm gonna fire this pole into him, honestly. Where is he? Hey! You wanna swallow this? Yeah, take that, you big bastard. Yuck. Hated that thing. You dropped flamethrower fuel. Nice. And plasma energy. That's actually both really useful. Excellent. Taco Bell's tacos don't even make the tacos the right way. New Zealand doesn't make tacos the right way. If you boil your chicken and then put it in a taco, you are doing it wrong. I can guarantee it. If your chicken comes out literally wet, you are making tacos wrong. And that's the only option to buy here. It's, it's famously so. We also don't use spice, so it's just boiled chicken. No spices. Just, just flat out boiled chicken. If you're lucky, you'll get kind of like a a glaze of whatever the company is offering at the time, but usually you don't. Usually you don't here. Italy is the third best. I've never had uh, Italian tacos. Okay, so we actually need something in this room right here. What is it? Really? Do we actually? There's supposed to be something in this room right here. Like, right at this point that I'm standing in. Oh no, it's behind us. It's on this wall right here? Found it. It's this. It's this pole right here. This is the objective. All right, found it. No spice, that's the best part. Spamton, you're a... That is disgusting, honestly. Ooh. <laughs> who buys Who buys any kind of food without flavoring? That is so bad. Japanese food is the best. Japanese food in New Zealand actually kicks ass. We got a great restaurant here in Tanin called the Jitsu. I love it so much. The bento boxes are pretty affordable at around about 16 New Zealand dollars, which would be 10 US dollars. And for a gigantic box of uh, curated food, that is really good value. Oh no. I put a bag on his head and uh, decided to do some aerial gymnastics. Oh well. Can we TK him? Oh, we kind of can actually. We can kind of make him dance, but the rope is completely rigid. Crazy. You have to put the taco in the chilla verde sauce? We don't have sauce here. We don't, New Zealand doesn't do sauce. It's the biggest disappointment in any cuisine that New Zealand has. Okay, everything's looking pretty good. Right. Right. Okay, so nothing in there. I think there was just kind of like a, a little creepy resource. I'm actually seeing a node right at the end of this. Let's blow that, see what happens. Are we going to get attacked? There's also a battery slot right here. Oh! Hey there, Nemesis. I was just, uh... I was just thinking, um... Hey, when is Nemesis going to pop up? It turns out it was literally right this second. Okay, this guy can absolutely eat my bum. Oh, eat my bum! Don't hit me! Eat my bum! They're laughing at me. Okay, let's go ahead and do a, a couple of sick burns. I'm going to do a reload real quick. I don't even know why I'm trying to kill it. Good, 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 good! We've got no health. Okay, we've got all of our health back. Baby! Baby can go to hell for all I give a hoot. Okay, we took a hit. Also, Nemesis will just not leave us alone. Uh, let's go and loot all of our... Oh, sorry, baby. I didn't quite, uh... I didn't think I missed you. Oh, well. That's what it is, I suppose. Whoa! What the hell? Pin him! Oh my god! <laughs> That'd be so cool if you could actually pin Nemesis to the wall. So I don't know which way we're supposed to be going. That way. Gotcha! I'll do that now. Hey Nemesis, don't mind me. Okay, this is a little bit hairy, a little bit hectic. Oh, hey there babies. No, I'm out of plasma cutter ammo. This is bad. Oh no, this is good. Yes. Yes. Oh, hello. I didn't realize you were completely immune to this. Oops. Okay, we're taking hits from this other spitter. Good grief. Could you just piss off, guys? Okay, I think I did a lot of damage to Baby right there. Good. Good. 
Okay, I think I missed that one, unfortunately. They're all still taking out... Oh, hello. No, let's knock ourselves off of here. And then we will punch them a couple of times. And then we cut. Good, yes. Baby. Baby. Okay, that baby got the final hit on me. Oh, that was hectic. We keep burning through our health at an alarming rate as well. Okay, we've got a few health packs left, which is pretty good. Whew. Screw New Zealand's food, boiled chicken, no sauce. I know, it's disgusting, isn't it? And it costs like almost 30 bucks here as well, which is just absolutely nuts. Imagine paying, imagine paying 20 US dollars for a Taco Bell taco with no sauce, no flavoring, and it's literally just black beans and maybe some chopped tomatoes if you're lucky. Just disgusting. I don't know why we even bother here, to be quite honest. I know it sounds a little bit elitist, but I do not understand why New Zealand even bothers having the franchise. Awesome. So there's actually a couple of places here. I did see that there was a battery that we could have grabbed. Okay, we're back in this area here. I think we scoured this place for resources. Wasn't a lot that we could get. Uh, it looks like Nemesis has left this area, which is to our uh, absolute benefit. What's in here? We have not looted this. Isaac. Sorry, late shift. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Um, my mother, she's some. Um, Octavia? How's she doing? What a name! She's dead, Nicole. They both are. She killed my dad, then herself. Oh. Yeah. The church. They uh, took the bodies before I could. Uh... Oh my God. Oh Isaac, I'm. I'm sorry. Oh, can you talk to stop washing? Stop it. Just stop talking. You said she was herself again. You said she would be better at home. Lies and filth. I trusted you. God. You might as well have killed him yourself. That's unfair. She was better. You told me to leave for the Ishimura. You, you pushed me to... You know what? Go to hell, Isaac. Nicole. Nicole! Nicole! I didn't... Oh, God. No. I her, too. Isaac. Isaac's a dick. It's me. I wish I could talk to you. She wanted to talk. I didn't I'm sorry. I can make it right. I'm sorry. I can save us both. About everything. I just realized what this is a an x-ray of. This is an x-ray of the guys that explode. Oh! Gross! This is an x-ray of the... Uh, what's my dingles? They're like... The stink... <coughs> Rays. Sorry, did that run into the microphone. That was gross. Or you're welcome. I don't know. It really depends on how you feel about it. You should go to Mexico and try actual food. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to fly to an another country one third of the way around the world just to try their food. <laughs> Could you imagine somebody actually goes on like a gigantic cruise just to eat? I am... When it comes to diet, I am completely ascetic. Like the, uh, the, the boiled chicken is absolutely disgusting, but what I choose to eat is essentially just lean meats and uh, sauceless things, which is why I've got such a nice physique. It's, it's literally based on my diet. And if I want to eat bad, I just lift more. Ah, yes. Force gun upgrade, perfect. We are gonna be using that. Log retrieved. Is it recording? Can't miss anything. Yeah, it's recording, it's recording. You're good. You're good to go. This is cruelty. I was deciphering how the marker's signal affects the brain. And how... Oh my god. Uh, oh my god, hello. <laughs> Let me guess. Terence Kine lit you in. 
Shame he's not here. He didn't understand how this tragedy represents a chance to cure death. Go on. These creatures. Reanimated tissue, cellular immortality. I, I know we've never seen eye to eye, but I understand now. There's so many I should have saved. So you came to me? Because you've learned how to communicate with the marker. Traitor! I'm so close. I, I thought it must have the secrets that I need. Traitor! You are a woman of science, not faith. Leave the marker to me. Traitor! Jezebel! These are your autopsy notes. Very thorough. Nope. Of, you, of course. All right. Carry on. And poor Terence isn't here to help you. Yes. There's only one man I trust now. Isaac Clark. Here you going? Nicole. She's gone. And useful. Well, that was just no weird. Has been logged. I just got the achievement whole again for pursuing Nicole's investigation. Why did we get this? I have absolutely zero clue. I've made a bit of a mess. That's awesome. Okay, let's fire out of here. Go ahead and check the map remove. Looks like there's a stasis recharge pack just to an immediate right. Oh, hey, buddy. The hell is this? Oh, yeah, that's dead. We also didn't loot it. Is it over here? Or well, maybe this wasn't actually it. Wait, how can we go in here while it's unpowered? Oh, here, yeah, I remember this place. Oh, we've been here a billion times. Okie dokie. Let's sprint on through. Check for the nearest save station. Where the hell is it? There's a lot of locked doors in here, and there's also one door ahead that we haven't necessarily checked out either. This one right in here. Deluxe quiet bucks. Oh, don't look like they were necessarily quiet. Hey, how you doing? How's your day going? Oh, there a joke on the wall or something? I don't get it. No, don't do that. Gotta get this lady to the to the medical base, Stat! Oh no, that's a leg. Oh, hello there, baby. Didn't think I'd be seeing you in here. Why is this baby like not only bigger but healthier? <laughs> the way the line gun ammo just flew out of its ass was uh, pretty funny as well. That tickled me. Okay, we got more force gun energy. What else is in here? We've got a a little ding thing that we can stomp. Nice, yum yum. I love stomping things. What's in here? Not a hell of a lot. I'm still looking for, like, babies. Not like the, the, the necromorph babies, but they were kind of like baby dolls that we shot and they did a creepy little kind of laugh. No, cry, they cry. 100 bucks. Nice. Okay. I'm going to go. I'm tired. Okay, you have a great night or day. I don't know. <laughs> Whichever one it is, you have, a, you have a great one. Oh, my God, was that the battery? It was the battery. Oh, no. Okay, we had to deal with the absolute cancer of hearing that. Go ahead and fire this over here so that we can run. Oh, hi. What's your name? I'm Jensen. Okay, I cut off its what's my dingle. Let's impale it with it. Oh, man. Uh, that's what I needed to get into. Oh, fine. There's bits everywhere now. Okie dokie. Hey, I've got this gift for you. Damn, that was a one hit. That pole is insanely potent. All right, let's see what this does. Doors. We can turn the doors on. We can turn the lights on. 
Right, so we can either do the doors or we can do the lights. Where does this go? All the way this way. Why would we... Why would we do the lights if we can't open the doors? What's in here? Have we been in here? No, we have not. Okay, so we've just opened this. I'm gonna go ahead and take this pole. Just so that we can basically murder any necromorph we see in here at a glance. Guess what I just found? I thought that that was kind of like an Easter egg, but I think they're just kind of scattered around as kind of like a, a creepy little thing. Oh, wow, that is very organized. Necromorphs, they definitely kind of, they don't want to live in a, live in a hovel, do they? They most certainly have style of some description. Whatever that shape may be. Okay, let's take whatever this is. It is a gold semiconductor, absolutely fabulous. And this is credits, very cash money. I think that's pretty much it for this area, though. Hello? Make yourselves known. Or I will shoot. Yep, that's definitely dead right there. Okay, let's hit the lights in this area right here. Let's see what this does. It did nothing. It literally did nothing. I can actually see worse in here now that we've put the lights on. Yucky! Yucky! Okay, we're done here. Let's try to go back out to the main thoroughfare. I think I see a necromorph. No, that one's definitely dead. So we can't go in there. Oh, right! Okay, so let's go ahead and we will change the... This. We'll change the circuit breaker to the doors and we'll also go and check out this other area that we haven't cleared just yet. Might get some more lore. Maybe a weapon. Probably not a weapon. To be quite honest. Got the line gun. It's excellent for crowd clearing. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. I'll take that. What else are we looking at? The hell is that sound? There's like some gentle oscillating frequencies in the background there. A hundred bucks. That wasn't even worth picking up. What is this? Can we open this at all? Oh, we need the master override to get into that one. Strange. Wonder why. Nothing in these bunks. There was only 200 bucks in here and a piece of hell. Oh, there better be something good in this. Credits, 400 bucks. Ugh. Yucky. Why? Why even bother, honestly? I'm not even gonna bother with the lights. I'm just gonna leave. There's a burger right here. We can't take the burger. I also just smashed the glass like four. Another! Yes, okay, so there is a crate in there. I think that was the objective of going into that area, but we're gonna need the Master Override key. Are we not? I feel like we are. All right. Oh, you're closer to the end than I thought? What, like how close? Is it less than an hour? Because if it is, I'll polish the game off now in this one sitting. Okay, I don't know what any of those disgusting noises were, but it seems as though we are surrounded by disgusting noises. Oh, it was probably one of those tendrils kind of disappearing, right? Let's go ahead and do a save at the save station. We will hit the empty save slot right here. Yes, 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 yes. Very cash money. Where else are we looking? Probably down here, right? There's probably got to be another area down here, or maybe two other areas. Yeah, there's one area down there. We could probably go... What the hell? What am I being attacked by? I know I'm being attacked, because I can hear the music. But what is doing it? Okay, we can't actually go this way yet. Okay, that's probably going to be the objective after we go to this other kind of, like, mezzanine area just over there. I also just saw a chest on the wall. We're going to go and grab that. Nice. Yeet. Grab that bad boy. Very cash money. Let's go in here. Probably going to get attacked by Nemesis or something like that. No, it's just a security gate. Oh, that's fine. Although, again, I suspect that we're about to be attacked by, attacked by Nemesis. All right, here we go. What the hell? This is significantly different. This is like the Ishimura Hall of Fame. Including this guy who dyed his hair purple and then wore his hair into like a bee, a beehive. He's found a golden semiconductor on his head. 
What? <laughs> I don't know how he... Maybe the golden semiconductor was how he fit that uh, thing up his, up his head. Okay, that is obviously going to be stimulated by one of those... What are they? The Stingray dudes. Can we go in here yet? No, we can't. We need the executive quarters key card. Go ahead and break this so we can take that money. This is just flat out locked. Probably going to need some kind of battery to open it. What are in these? Uh, line rags. Wow, thanks. You shouldn't have. Executive bathrooms! Oh, I've never seen such luxury before in my life. Uh, this is probably more disgusting than I thought they'd be. Oh! Hi! Oh no! Okay, we're just going to have to match E, it seems, because we don't actually have a... Actually, matching E gets rid of them real well. Okay, got rid of that. Oh, my God, what's behind me? Oh, it's a thing. It's just a little thing latched onto me. It distracted me. Anything else in here? There is a what's my dingle right here. Can we open it? Yes, we can. I don't even know why they bothered lock it. We had the clearance. You can't get to this area without the clearance. What is that, a rig? Is that a rig? No, it's a key card. Excellent. Did someone die in the shower? Oh no, they lost their legs. Oh, that sucks. Oh well. Whoa, my God. This laser cutter is potent. Let's take this guy's severed head. Looks like a cross section. Okay, let's go out. And we will interact with this door, see what else is going to ambush us out here. Doesn't look like there's anything. That was weird. Okay. We are pretty goddamn low on ammo. Go ahead and reload this bad boy. Oh no, not beside us! Okay, fire that off. We should probably start using the fourth gun, right? It is a, a big ass kicker. Oh, I knew it! I knew this thing was coming out to play! Oh, that sucks to be these guys, honestly. Yep, good. Line gun! Oh! I think I took some damage from the line gun. Ah, oh, that's fine. I think I think it's fine. Let's try and dismember them. Good, that's one. In fact, let's actually use this guy to our advantage. I don't think we even impaled him. Oh, hey there, buddy. How you doing? Oops. There you go. Any more? Yep, have this body, and also I found one more of these legs. Oh, hello! What's your name? I'm Isaac. Boom and boom, dismembered both of his arms, it seems. So line gun to the to the top is really, really good against these really big brute guys. Okay, I'm gonna use some health regen, so we kind of desperately need it. I'm gonna take everything that these guys dropped. Perfect, what's this? That's a text log. Okay, I probably would have missed that if I didn't fire the gravity gun. What else have we got? Uh, I think that's it, right? We just have to go in here next. Uh, let's go ahead and reload the force gun. How many can it hold? Eight. That's actually pretty generous. Good grief. Okay, bedroom. We got a text log right here. Can't wait to read that later. What is this? This is a crate. Nice credits. Very cash money. Line racks, not so cash money. I suppose it's it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Like, we can probably use it as a main weapon now. Just because we're so flush with ammo. But we only... We can only pick them up in lots of... Oh, my God. We can only pick up the ammo in lots of three. So it's actually a crap source of ammo. Next log. Unless we're buying it. Okay. I saw a brochure for join us in paradise. Okay. Marker right here. I really see anything else other than some lore. So we should be able to open this one now, right? Because we have the card for it, which means we probably also have to Security unlock card. the other room beside here. We're going to be tied to... Oh, hi, buddy! Good! I had to take that hit, by the way. A hundred bucks. That of executive only has a hundred bucks in their back pocket. I killed janitors with more money than that. Uh, this is another one of those master overrides. Go here, punch this. Good, we have opened the... What was that? Open the next area. This guy's caught on me, I think. Get off me, bro. There we go. Go ahead, go into the next area. Is there anything lying in wait on the floor for us? Oh, that is some awful, awful, awful feng shui. These executives had an awful, awful designer. Gotta be said. Gross. Who would 
design a room like this? Okay, we've taken all of their wealth and money, which is very, 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 very nice. Where are we going now? Are we done with this area? Yeah, I think we actually are. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take this pole. We'll go ahead and we'll push through. I think we are going to be ambushed very, very shortly. This is the bathroom. This is not where we want to be. We want to be elsewhere. We want to be on the other side of this room, I think. I kind of like the the look and feel of this area. I don't know why more of the game isn't kind of like wealthy like this. I wonder why. I wonder why that is completely. All right, nothing in the hallway is going to ambush us, which is quite nice. Anything in this next room? I got a pole. Got a pole. Nope, doesn't look like anything is coming after us. Perfect. Uh, okay, we've got the marker in front of us here. I'm still going to keep this pole on us in case we desperately need it. I don't know what just happened. Okay, so we've actually opened up quite a lot of the lower area of the map as well. But we've more importantly opened up this area. So we can loot all of this. It's just health. That's fine. Absolutely A-OK. -okay. Whoops. In fact, you know what? Let's go here, check our map really quickly. And we'll see where the nearest save station is. It's pretty close. Because we haven't saved in a hot minute. Everlasting life, I heard something whisper in the background. I call cap. This is called dead space, not everlasting life space. Okay, I'm going to save right here. And then I'm going to make the real big balls move of thanking you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Dead Space 2023's remake, and right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you really enjoy. Down in the description of this video, you'll find the only way of really contacting me other than leaving a comment, which is my Discord. And until I make the next video, or you catch the next stream, I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!